it's not even like I'm, when, I, when you look at the title and you, you wonder what I, what I mean. Like I'm not even I'm not even joking. That is what the game the, like the game I'm playing today is based around. Is you are a you are a bad guy. You're a mean guy who's just come back from the dead and is like, ah, oh, damn, I got I got I got to punch down right now at like the nearest farm. I gotta use my dark necromancer powers to punch down at like John the farmer for his experience. So that's kind of where we're at today. It's kind of like the game. Look, next time, <laughs> look, next time all I'm gonna say is, uh, you know. I need at least a total, nine total CR worth of souls to fuel my phylactery for today. It's, it's pretty bad out here. Because it, it felt, it was fun, like, the first time I killed, like, some random farmer in this game. But then, like, fucking Matthew runs out of a farm. And he's level one as well. And uh, he runs up to me and goes, stop that! And I just fucking bop him in the face with, like, a bat. And then he's dead. And then I, I cut up his body and I ate it. I ate it because my guy also has hunger meter and had to eat something. So I cut up and ate him. I ate Matthew. I ate him. So you could say we are farming farmers. Kind of. Was it, was it morally wrong to do that? No. No, he came at me first. I, I think you'll find the one thing about this game is that I am never the aggressor. I will never attack first. I am, they always take the first swing. They're always firing, they're always saying McClunky and then sh sh shooting at me from like across the fucking field. So it's not my fault if I defend myself by using like uh you know my dark arts or etc to blast them and then collect their souls my clunky we know you shot first well i mean it's like is it fair to shoot at me on site if 500 years ago, I did a lot of crazy crimes. Because, like, who was, like, a real bad guy 500 years ago? For starters. Let's go back 500 years. Who was, like, a real piece of shit back then? Vlad the Imperler was... Vlad the Imperler wasn't the 1500s chat, I don't think. Were they? We're talking 1500s right now. We're talking, we're talking 1500s. Who's a 1500s guy? Genghis Khan? Vlad was 1400s? Yeah, well, I said 500, that's 600, you f mm. Mm. I don't know. Look, here's the thing. If we'll use Genghis Khan, even though he's also nowhere near that era. We'll say Genghis, okay? If Genghis comes out of it, like, he comes out of the fucking, like, DMV or something, he he's getting his shit back together. He came back. He's back at it again. I don't think you're allowed, even after all the things he did back then, to just gun him down. I think there's, like, I think there's laws still. I don't think you're allowed to just be like, but guys... 500 years ago, he did so much bad stuff. Like, I don't, I don't think he should be exempt from punishment, but I do, but I do not know if you're just allowed to be like, get him! <laughs> and then everyone just dog piles. <laughs> Genghis from 500 years ago because he came back today. And that sucks. And that's bad. And that's why laws need to be, we need to have laws that account for things like resurrection. As time goes on, the chances of it happening go up and up. Don't you think? K 
can't he can't beat all of us. That is true. Is this game pronounced Solash or Sulash? Uh Sul Sul Sulash. Slash. Sulash. So you lash is uh, the way I've been pronouncing it. Soul ass. I mean, I wouldn't want to be resurrected 500 years in the future to be punished for my actions. Look, dude, here's the thing. No one would see that coming, dude. If you did a bunch of crimes and then finally you were like, ha, 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 ha. And the last thing I'll say to all of you on my deathbed is all the crimes I did and none of you caught me. And then you die and then you wake up. In, in court, 5,000 years later, where like a fucking judge is like, we're going through the entire backlog. We're getting them all. You, you, we got you on at least eight different crimes right here. And we got plenty of space in the temporal jail cell. The infinite bag of holding-esque jail cell that we're going to throw you in. We're making you continue to be alive until you've served your time. <laughs> You're wanted for omnicide and tax fraud. Hey man, this whole crime thing fucking sucks. Dude. Here's the thing, though. I get why the Shredder was not arrested very often. Because if I found out that I was going to be in the jury for the Shredder, I would probably say that I was like horribly racist or something to get out of that one. I don't think I'd want to take the chance. I'd do whatever it takes to get out of that jury duty. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I am not, I will not be fucking trying Shredder for his fraud after I watched him on the news genocide or I guess Omnicide, an entire alien race. I just won't do it. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be in the same state as that guy. You know he'll remember everyone on the jury panel. Dude, you know super villains are petty enough to remember every single person on that jury panel. The same way they're fucking, they get obsessed with the superhero that thwarts them, dude. Why they don't just move away to a place where the superhero isn't, dude. You know that villain's fucking clocking every single person at the jury and going, yup. <laughs> Gonna get them, gonna get them, gonna get them. I don't want anything to do with that. My dog's barking. Stop! Hey, listen. I, I, no, no, there they go again. My dog actually does not respond to anyone telling them to stop barking, aside from me when I'm like audibly in the same room as them. They will just immediately stop if I'm like, hey, stop. I think I, I think something about me calms them. They always like immediately stop when I open the door and I'm like, stop now. Or terrifies them. No, I, I'm not a scary guy. Maybe they're crying out in loneliness. No, they're crying out because someone's walking by the sidewalk. Because my dog thinks anyone that's in, uh, literally in their sight at all is a monster trying to kill them. And us, for that matter. Basically, if someone walks into frame.
Tomato, are you fighting in the iDubs boxing event? I am not a famous YouTuber and or streamer, so the answer is no. And even if I were, I don't want to get punched, dude. I just don't. I don't want to get punched. I don't want to get punched. Too bad. No, I don't. I I live. I haven't gotten punched in forever, and I'd like to keep it. Ideally, if I can die without ever being punched again, that would be cool. Yeah, honestly, like I won't. That won't really. I won't be bummed if I don't ever get punched again. Again? Chat, I did cry for fucking like 15 years of my life. I have received punches. <laughs> I have been punched probably more times than many of you have ever been punched or may ever be punched. So trust me when I say I don't want to be punched anymore. I've had enough of it. I had enough getting punched the moment that my jaw started cracking every single time I opened my mouth more than an inch and has never stopped. Uh, since. So that was when I was like, ah, oh, damn, I'm kind of getting sick of getting punched. <laughs> when my mouth started making sounds that would never go away for the rest of my life, I was pretty much, I pretty much reached like the threshold where I was like, I don't want to get punched. neck clicking constantly well neck clicking doesn't have anything to do with that to my knowledge my neck is always doing some weird stuff but that's just because of tension I got thumb clicking whenever I move them and I don't know why chat your various sounds are not all directly because you were in violent like involved in violence okay like your body can just make fucking weird sounds unless you got fucking like decked in the thumb and then it started cracking forever you can't like get into the cool club with people like me who have been punched so hard their body makes sounds now St like stop You're embarrassing yourself. You ain't tough enough. You're stolen clicking. <laughs> dude, stolen punch rowler, dude. You just don't, you just don't get it. I find it pathetic. Gatekeeping punching bags. He's gatekeeping body aches. It's okay to have an achy body, but there's a difference between having a weird jaw that doesn't work properly anymore because you got punched so fucking hard that you fell over and then couldn't talk for a couple of days versus uh, slowly aging and realizing that your jaw now makes sounds. Because mine was an instant thing. Mine was an instant thing that afterwards, whenever an orthodontist checks out my mouth, they're like, yo, did you know that you have like some crazy shit going on? And I'm like, yeah, how m can you fix it? And they're like, nah, <laughs> just wanted to let you know in case you didn't hear the clicking. And I'm like, nah, 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 I've heard it. I've been hearing it forever, actually. It's all the time. It's I hear clicking all the time. I think if you're old and don't make sounds, you're the outcast. Yeah, true. So that's where the clicking noise is coming from. You, there's no way the clicking picks up on the mic. There's just no way. This freak doesn't even rattle his bones when he moves. My bones are always rattling. There it is. My chair creaks. 
can't, you can't, you're, you're making yourself believe you're hearing something that is not what, chat, there are many things in my life that click. You cannot hear my jaw. There it is, dude, I heard a sound! I heard a sound, dude! That's his jaw! I knew it, dude! Now I can't stop hearing it, dude! Dude, someone went, there it is, I heard it again, but I had muted my mic. My mic had been muted. So th there's all the example I need uh, for that one. Uh, I had muted my microphone the second I stopped talking. Delayed chat, you can't fucking pull that shit. You know I've got like zero latency. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice fucking attempt to get out of that one though, chat. <laughs> that, that's a nice, that's a nice attempt. That was a solid try. is coming from the yeah have you guys looked around to check if you have any active like clocks around you or bombs or things crawling in the walls that could be making clicking sounds because maybe you should be more concerned about that or someone breaking into your house that's sneaking up behind you that has a clicky jaw rather than me and my jaw hmm? maybe you maybe you should check around for that instead I had to check someone's chat history because I thought they were cringe, but I was wrong. They're okay. Dude, I'm always on the lookout for cringe lately. It's all I think about. I gotta keep it out of here. I've been wanting to play fucking Minecraft lately, man. Maybe I'll do like a hardcore Minecraft thing one of these days with like a mod pack. That sounds fun. Especially since, like, every time I ask Spud about uh, Minecraft stuff, he tells me some unbelievable bullshit that I truly don't understand. And I just kind of nod and smile, and it's not his fault. I just don't get it, what he's describing to me. And apparently there's a mod pack that's going to be good for a server thing soon, but that's soon with, like, five asterisks next to it. So, um, you know, we don't... There's so many variables... Are you still considering Journey to the Court with Shane? I've never talked about playing that with Shane, I don't think, in my entire life. Ever. And that's nothing against Shane, it's just I've never, ever, 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 ever said that. <laughs> you guys, like... It's like, make things up. <laughs> I've also... I would also like people to, uh, while, while we're here, stop telling my friends what I thought of games they're playing live, and then also be wrong. Like, I saw Boone playing that a Animoiopolis game, that, like, liminal horror game, yesterday, and some fucking random person in chat's like, Yeah, dude, Tomato's opinion of this was it kind of sucked. And they were, like, serious, and I'm like, fucking... Uh? Hey, he didn't ask, one, and two, stop fucking just, like, telling people the wrong thing. If you're gonna fucking say random shit about me, at least make it accurate. That's next level cringe. And I will drag you for it publicly in their chat if I fucking see it from now on. So just so you know, I will personally fucking drag you there. 
I will make a spectacle out of you. Okay. Because it really genuinely annoys me. <laughs> More so than I think anything else people do. Rel Honestly, actually, there is another thing. There's another thing that I do want to talk about because it also frustrates me. I don't understand why people do it. Hey, uh, a friend playing a game that I've also played does not warrant you to reference my fucking streams in their chat or really bring me up at all because it's their fucking stream unless they brought me up. I don't want to see me in their chat. Do you understand? Like, I don't need to see you saying, Tomato, finish this part faster than you. Dude, I will fucking ban you in my chat for life. Just remember that. I don't ever want to fucking see that shit. Have some, f have some goddamn respect. For the actual person that's streaming. Okay. Bruh, that sounds like someone who's not 18 years or older type stuff. I know, but who would do... How's that even possible? How are they watching the stream? They, they legally shouldn't be able to. From beginning of time to end of time, stupidity... Well, look, here's the thing. While, yeah, people, dumb idiots, will be dumb idiots and do dumb idiot things, I can, at the very least, go on record and tell them not to do it. So as to cover my own ass when I deal with them in front of all their fellow chatlets. Because now I can say, I talked about this. So then people can't just decolon when I... Get angry. Okay. I don't want to ever see me in someone else's chat being referenced unless it's like genuinely the streamer brought it up. Okay. Because I know that shit annoys me. Okay. I know we have audience crossover between me and a lot of my friends, but that's no excuse to turn their chat into a fucking waiting room for someone else's stream or some bullshit like that. You know this. So don't do it. This goes for every one of my friends. Everyone I everyone I know shares my exact same opinions on this stuff. It's just don't do it. It's like chat. It's like chat etiquette. It's just don't. You just described the entire Daisy streaming community. I was about to punch down and be like, what Daisy streaming community? But I'm sh I actually feel like that game had like a fucking comeback at some point and I don't want to be mean because I know truly nothing about it. So I'll let other people say it for me. Who's Daisy? <laughs> Beats me, man. Daisy, more like Daisy, because I'm snoring. Dude, there it is, bro. Fucking funny. Daisy did get ported to console a while ago. I don't think it should have been. <laughs> I, don't, I don't haven't played it, so I really shouldn't. It just doesn't feel like that game interfaces well with a console controller, probably. I feel like that's horrid sounding. It doesn't sound good. I know because I struggle to handle anything involving like a survival game on console to begin with. I have it sucked frozen eggs. Oh. Oh yeah, there's no D and D on Thursday. Uh, stuff has come up. Everything's okay, but no session Thursday. We'll be back next week.
I mean, I still have D&D on Sunday, so I always get to play D&D every week. Dude, I'm so, I'm honestly, the third campaign I'm doing soon is the one I'm really excited for. The second one I'm doing with Joe. Oh, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to spoil anything because it's kind of Joe's ballpark to discuss at this point. But some people know like the general themes of it and I am very excited uh, for my character. I'm not in the evil one. <clears throat> I'm not doing an evil one. Dude! I'm already in another evil campaign, okay? Like, I'm not doing a planned evil one. I just fucking won't. I'm not doing, like, another evil campaign. Okay. I want at least one campaign where most of the players are playing people that will skew towards good. Because God knows I like playing the morally kind of gray characters. So I need other people to keep my character from totally derailing the group to evil. So that'll be in the next couple of weeks. I think. I think by like May we'll be doing another campaign. We're just picking out a start date now and stuff. So, pretty neato. Have you heard of the Mystery Flesh Pit National Park? No. <clears throat> no, and I don't really want, I don't know if I want to get involved with whatever that is. That sounds like a thing where you hear about it and then you disappear. The Flesh Pit National Park? I don't know, man. I don't think I want to get involved in the Flesh Pit, to be honest. It is not an SCP. Well, that's good. I mean, that means it's like an ARG. I don't do any ARGs, all right? My brain's too leaky. I played Black Watchmen. That was enough for me. I don't need... I don't need more ARG. Okay. It has a national park in it. How bad can it be? True. The government was, tr the government went, hey, that flesh pit looks nice enough that we want it to be nationally preserved. That doesn't sound like a bad thing to me. Your brain never recovered after Black Watch. Dude, I learned how to fucking translate Futhark, okay? My brain is fucking like oversized and engorged at all times. All right. Okay, I learned how to translate goddamn runes. <laughs> I learned how to cast wizard spells using the internet, okay? So how about you back off? I actually do kind of want to play Black Watchmen again. Not on stream, but for me. For me. Oh, you know, there actually was a cool thing that got announced today that I'm excited for. Uh, wouldn't you know it, like an indie thing happens I'm excited for. Uh, they announced a sequel to Hypnospace Outlaw. So, at some point in the next probably couple of months, since that's not happening for a year, let's be realistic, uh, I'll probably revisit Hypnospace since it's been like four years since I streamed it now and play like all the new stuff that they added because it's been, they added a lot of content like a year ago and I never touched any of it. It has mods now? Yeah, but there's only like two of them. Gang, just because a game has mod support doesn't mean they have an audience that's going to make mods for it. 
Trust me, those are not, those do not equal content unless there's an audience to make them. That's why truly modding, like mod support, is something that has to be done within like a fucking week of the game coming out or not at all. Unless it's like an incredibly popular AAA title. Because that shit just disappears. You just don't, you just don't see stuff like that anymore. Well, now that you've mentioned it to your massive audience, they will certainly be a couple more mods. No, there won't. It's nice of you to say, but no, there won't. Player base also doesn't necessarily equal mods. People don't just magically learn and pick up how to make mods for games. These, there's a lot of variables to modding that all need to kind of come together for a game to have a good mod scene. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for Hypnospace. Which is why I was happy when they made their like own expansion to the game. I can't even dust my own apartment once a week. No way I'm making game mods. <laughs> True. Uh, dude. True. Been there. Look, man. Someone make a... No, 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 no one needs to make that. Does Cyberpunk have mods? Mods came out for, well, here's the thing. Cyberpunk is an incredibly popular game. Whether you want to accept it, whether you ever want to accept that Cyberpunk has an audience, uh, it does still have 13,000 people playing it right now at the same time on Steam. So yeah. That game got some basic mod support and has a lot of mods. Probably more mods that fix things than mods that actually add content. But, um, you know. A lot of that comes down to the what kind of tools the dev puts out. And big AAA games don't usually have great tools. Like Witcher 2 had a really good modding scene. And then Witcher 3, they put out like a texture swapper which completely gutted the modding scene for it. So I don't know what they did for Cyberpunk, but considering that game's barely together to begin with, I'm not sure there was a very good mod system for that. Didn't Cyberpunk also do a big update recently? Look, I won't go back to that game until they add DLC, which will be in the year fucking 4045. Okay, if they, if they know what's good for him. But when they do, I'll go back to that game because I didn't hate Cyberpunk. And I will play the DLC. On my own time. But it won't happen for a long time. Probably. I also did not run into many uh, bugs at all with Cyberpunk. I think my game crashed one time and I had to reload one time. So I was also very lucky. So my experience wasn't like ruined by random issues. So I basically just got to play the game the way the devs left it, which was average. That game with no bugs is probably like a seven and a half out of 10. If we're talking IGN scoring, if we're talking real quality of a game scoring from like one to 10 without IGN bullshit, where everything, anything that's below like a five is like actually unplayable garbage that shouldn't work. Uh, this game goes from a seven and a half to like a six tops. Cause I do think it, I beat it and I put 
you know, dozens of hours into it. So that means it's not like a five or lower. It can't be at that point. I put, I gave it too much of my life to score it that low. The art direction and music is top notch. And the side quests that you can find were also very good when you could find them because they hid them amongst an, a fucking sea of bullshit open world pop ups. Are they, did they label the side quest now? Well, I'm not going to change my score for an update they put out after I played it. All right. I'm not about to fucking be like, Oh, well, sorry. Sorry. No, that shit wasn't there when I played. So I'm going to say the game fucking sucked because of that part. That part fucking sucked. It's like how I can say Elden Ring is objectively worse because of the fact that they have, they actively to this day, despite showing and acknowledging how annoying these fucking elevators and walks are to bosses, for some reason still pick and choose where they put their stakes of America to really piss you off, all right? Like, that shit actively tanks the score for me because it's, it is a conscious tedium that the game does need to add to it, and it's fucking unhinged. <laughs> Make up your fucking mind. Do you want us to walk or do you not? Because the fucking fact that it just feels like the devs sometimes remembered to put a respawn outside of a boss was genuinely infuriating. Lol, LMAO. <laughs> Look, a game can be hard, but a game shouldn't actively want to waste my time as part of the difficulty. Part of the difficulty shouldn't be the moments when I have to think about the walk back and considering or consider if I'd rather get like dinner. All right, that shouldn't part of the difficulty shouldn't be fighting my like brain to like le like to stay. Coming from Dark Souls 1 directly, though, they didn't feel too bad. Yeah, but those games are so old now, which is why they were able to get away for, away for, like with it. But like now it's like, it's, it no longer needs to be done like this. You've shown that you have, you've shown that you do it and fix it sometimes. It was just, it was, it was frustrating to me. Especially on my like Super Omega SSD that the game was on, like watching loading screens happen. At chat, half the loading screens for fucking Elden Ring are artificial. They aren't real. <laughs> they literally aren't real loading screens. So like, my SSD is stalled by the game telling it to slow down because it's like pulling bullshit behind the scenes. So yeah, no, there's a lot, there's a lot of shit that fucking that's the stuff that got me angry at like Elden Ring was crap like that. Like the stuff where like the game just wants to waste your time. When I put like so much time into that fucking game, you do not need more of my time, Elden Ring. Put hundred, like a hundred plus hours in, you do not need more of my time. You had enough of it. Why would they do that? Wouldn't eliminating loading screens be better? They want you to ponder how you just got your ass slapped by like Melania dashing 20,000 like attacks at you with her like unblockable, undodgeable sword spinny move. They want you to really let it sink in. They want to make sure that you see the whole combo that would have killed you if you hadn't been hit by the immediate first attack. And look, here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's, here's, here's the thing. This is a complaint that no one can fucking respond and say, hey, 
I disagree. I like loading times and waiting longer to play the game. So if you actually have a genuine response to this as anything other than, yeah, that seems like something that they should probably work on for next time, you have been complete. You are fun. You're like in a cult at this point. <laughs> I don't think I saw anyone do that, but just remember that. If like some, you are brainwashed at this point. You've lost it. You've lost it. I actually saw an interesting point from uh, my friend Ruby on Twitter, because she was talking about like the game's lore. It actually made me think because I didn't even bother with the lore because I was just like, it doesn't really appeal to me. I'd rather just watch videos on it after the fact. But um, she was talking about how like there's meaningful bosses placed in areas that make sense for like the plot, like uh, like Astel, the, like the 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 star skeleton thing in the depths of that one zone. But then you can also just run into the guy like around a corner in another zone, just hanging out, eating like a snack. And it's like, now it's just like, what the fuck is, does that matter? Should, why is that guy? I don't think From Software really like fucking built that into the lore there. I think he's just hanging out there eating a snack today. And I was like, wow, yeah, that is kind of weird. <laughs> we caught him on his break. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bastel, not Astel, idiot. But I like the loading screens. Gives me time to look at your stream. Look, dude, next time Elden Ring wants to waste my time with loading screens, they better allow me to auto embed my stream into anyone that wants, like, on the fucking loading screen. They better allow me to, like, punch in a thing in the options that lets me, like, watch shows on the loading screen. All right. Because in, 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 straight up, dude. <laughs> and this might sound like it is. We are in the future of SSDs where everything uses one now. Loading screens should be Fucking instant. I've seen how much you can load on SSD. I know how fast they move. There is no, anything that is longer than like a second and a half is fucking bull on SSD. Devs don't want to see that. Don't want you to see the pop in slash populating you though. But that that is exactly what I'm talking about. That shit is cut down on SSDs. You don't. That's not an issue. There's other ways to deal with that in map design and map like, dude. Actually, no, I did. There actually was like another thing that I realized that was really fucking stupid from Elden Ring, and I never understood. And actually made me apparently miss content uh, was um, all the teleport balls, like those weird gates. Was there really no other way for FromSoft to like get people around like different areas and like hard to find areas of the world other than those gates? Because I started like seeing them and like skipping some of them because I was like, it's probably going to dump me in like the middle of a fucking like field in like the middle of like Lyurnia. And then I'd find out that the one gate I passed was the one that takes you to Omega Kill World. And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> I just didn't want to get teleported out of the area I was clearing. But I guess I should have done that one because that was the special gate that goes... Why wouldn't they put, like, signs on them? Why didn't they put, like, signs on them? Oh, the Everjails? No, I'm talking about the teleport gates. That would, like, teleport you to other areas. Signs in a From Software game. I wonder, I bet a lot of people missed weird shit like that, like I did. Because the game actively respawns stuff whenever you enter a loading screen. The NPC quest fucking sucked too. 
Oh yeah, my first character, I bungled every single NPC quest. But I mean, like, then again, uh, from software, I think has some of the worst fucking NPC handling of any video game I've ever played in my whole life, and that is an undisputable fact. Like the story and the way they tell them or not, uh, no one should. You shouldn't have to open up a wiki and live in a life of complete and absolute dread. That everyone you know is going to die. And if the people that you that, that die, die, you have to reload the entire game or restart from scratch. Like, the quests are cool when you can follow them. But, uh... Finding them is kind of the tricky part. Actually following them is kind of tricky. Which is why I'm glad they did add, like, uh, waypoints, which I'll give them credit for. They added, they added spots so you could at least know where someone was left. Because there were NPCs that I saw one time and then just fucking forgot about. I never saw them ever again. When a game is meant to be played multiple times, am I right? Obscure game design that punishes the player by forcing you to replay it is not a good replayable game. That is a, an obnoxious replayable game. In my opinion. Uh, a game should be replayable because you want to replay it, not because the game made you replay it because you missed something that they like deliberately hid from you because of game design. True shit, that's why Sonic is bad. Oh yeah, old school Sonic games, dude. Oh my god. Those were like the classic of like full speed sprint into spike wall 40 feet ahead of you that you can't see off screen and instantly die. <laughs> and I know I played those. Those are like the first games I ever played, dude. Disco is an excellent replayable game. Oh yeah, games that games with like actual genuine like that incentivize you to replay it for like to see other stuff are great. Stuff like Disco is awesome. The amount of times I've replayed through the first day of that game. But like oh. When a when a game that takes uh, realistically on your first playthrough like 80 to 100 hours to beat when you find out at 60 hours that you fucked up every single story quest because the game, like, hides the NPCs in bizarre areas you'd never find because it's a giant open world, that feels fucking bad. That made me feel like bad, dude. That made me feel like bad, man. Made me feel like a fucking idiot. Linear NPC quest design in an open world game. Yeah, it's like they just didn't really advance that part with the rest of their design. Like the NPC design stayed the same while the rest of their like world philosophy changed. And it just felt like it was like left in the dust. Yeah, I'm heading northwest. Catch me there. <laughs> yeah, that, that was... They could have at least given E. Morrowind style directions, dude. I wouldn't have minded like one of the characters being like, hey dude, I'm going, uh, I'm gonna be heading like south along that trail that way for like a bit. And then I'll go like along that trail and they'd nod and I'd go that way and I find out that person doesn't know what directions are and he was actually going north the whole time. Cause that's just like Morrowind. You literally have to do a second playthrough to finish Nefeli's quest if you went too far. And well, that's also accurate in general because they didn't fucking finish her quest themselves as from software. So, like, don't worry. They also had to kind of double back to fix that one. Don't worry about it. There was no excuse for that shit. Yeah, they should have disabled the NPCs. And like a main NPC like her should have been disabled if it wasn't finished or they should have finished it before they released that shit should have been done. It was bugged, not unfinished, even worse. 
Even worse, if like half the NPC's quest is just bugged, even worse, dude. That's not better. That's like that's like adjacent. Look, I don't want to dwell on like Elden Ring's flaws because I do think it's an amazingly fun game. I like lo I love the game, but like again, it ain't perfect. And people saying that it's like the greatest game ever made are have a massive recency bias towards it. Uh, Cause well, as fantastic as it is, it's got a lot of problems. What about the Jar Kid? Would have gone to Jar Kid if I hadn't beaten the game by then and had no desire to play another fucking character to go see them. So maybe one day when someone puts out like a Cinders esque mod for Elden Ring, I'll go back and find Jar Kid. It's the greatest game that From Software has made so far. That is definitely a fact. Nah, Bloodborne's better. I think I think as far as like greatest game is concerned, that's a lot more just your taste when it comes to FromSoft stuff, especially the more recent things. I prefer Bloodborne, and if Bloodborne had a 60 FPS patch, I would it wouldn't even I wouldn't have to think about it, because the only thing Bloodborne doesn't have going for it is the FPS. But I'm not going back to compare Bloodborne now to the other game. I'm going off of memory and Bloodborne sticks in my head like fucking glue that I can't get rid of every single day of my life. So, yeah. No, I don't need to... You know. Bloodborne's not as popular because it's not as accessible. The PvP in Bloodborne is terrible. PvP players are, uh... are not... not me. I've never created any of them based off of their PvP. I would almost describe a PvP, PvP players as freaks, but that's not an insult. It's just they are not, they're a different person from me. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot, they're, they're cursed. Not me. And I think that PvP in every FromSoft game has looked like a big fucking just gross pile of garbage. Like people, even when people are like, yeah, Dark Souls 2 had really good PvP. I look at PvP videos of Dark Souls 2 and it looks like two people slapping each other with noodles. And then one just falls over and people go, that was the fucking greatest rush I've experienced in my entire life. I, I climaxed five times during that battle. I'm like, what just happened? I don't understand. I just like hurting people, you know what I mean? I just like killing people. PvP kind of sucks because you're going along with your little broadsword and some naked dude wielding God's own flaming cock plus 15 one-shots you. I don't think I've ever been in a PvP scenario where someone hasn't one-shot me with a meme build. So, yeah, I mean, maybe that's part of the reason why. Elden Ring suffers from terrible PvP, and it'll, and it'll never probably be very balanced because there's so much content in Elden Ring to balance around. Like, it's always going to be a little bit of a mess because it's a, it's a broader game to balance for. Same reason why there's, like, spots where bosses just suck and areas just aren't as good as others because the game's so big it's impossible to balance and develop for all of it properly. Corners have to be cut, you know? Let's give a shout out to our Lord, the loathsome, the loathsome dung eater. Dude, fuck that guy and fuck his stupid hole that took me like 18 years to find during my first playthrough. That guy can go to hell. I'm somewhere, you'll just have to find me. I'm somewhere under the town. 
little fucking like I'm in the sewers, but there's a second sewers. It's like a little well in the corner. For turns out just access is like a giant omega zone that goes for a million miles in every direction. Classic. Classic. That zone was awful, truly. Look, not every game can have the, what I would describe as ascendant design of the sewers from Dark Souls 1 that I've always been, that, that had a lovely slide at the very beginning that lets you skip the whole thing and go straight to the boss. All right, it, it's rare that you get good design like that out of anything. It's rare that you get the fun slide. <laughs> cannot stop themselves from adding sewers. <laughs> Every time I make a game, there has to be a sewer level and a poison level. Sometimes at the same time. Elden Ring did not have enough slides, it's true. Yeah, there was nowhere near in it. You'd think for a game with a lot more parkour, there'd be a lot more slides. Wasn't any slides. No slides. Not even one. Actually, there may have been one or two. Even Dark Souls 3 had slides. Don't forget the rickety wooden plank realm. That's true, there isn't. I didn't stand on one wooden plank and have it, like, slide around. Not one. I didn't step on one like that. I can't believe Miyazaki added a third poison Debo. Dude, let's... I'm gonna be honest. What the fuck was... Why the... Fuck, did they add like 18 different pointless, worthless, completely meaningless like armor stats that no one gives a fuck about in Elden Ring. I truly don't think a single point came up in my entire game where I, I was concerned about my uh, fucking robust. I guess robustness was bleed, right? There was like, there's, there's like four of them. And again, I got naked every 10 seconds in that game anyways. <laughs> that really popular sleep debuff. That one, look, that one was memes because you would just get sleep stuff and then huck it at a, like a bus and then watch as they like fall asleep and then you just fucking instantly kill them. Like that, that was just, that was just memes. The sleep one was added for memes. No one ever did it to you. You could do it to others. But yeah. Sleep is great in PvP. Yeah, but like... Imagine, imagine playing PV. I mean, I guess the only way I'd want to play PVP is by exploiting the systems. It's not like I'd want to duel someone. I would want to, I would want to pull out something that ruins their day and kills them. It gives them plenty of time to see me teabag their body as they slowly deload from the map. Slowly. With a lot of slow fade. Just like Todd would have wanted into a nice long loading screen where they can process that I knocked them unconscious and then teabagged them for five seconds for one-shotting them with Moon Veil. So he is a PvP player. No, I just can, I just know right now what people do. Like, it tells it's not rocket science, Jack. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. The PvP meta went from Moonvale to Rivers of Blood instead. 
Dude, I mean, everyone knew that was coming. <laughs> everyone knew that was coming. Rivers of Blood just feels like... You could tell without even, like, looking at it in-game from the name that that's, like, the PvP meta weapon, because fucking... Of, of course it is. Of course a katana named Rivers of Blood is the most popular weapon for PvP. Of course. Dex one. <laughs> Dex one, dude. It's the end of an era. Everyone, pack it up. It's over. Dex finally beat us. The age of strength is lost. Never tell anyone you don't level Dex. <laughs> Dude. I mean, I definitely... Playing a strength build in Elden Ring definitely didn't feel good when, like, the third enemy in a row instant teleported, fi like, 50 feet away from me the second it did its attack. Like, that... After the third time that I swung at an enemy, slowly... And they warped to the other side of the room so fast that my eyes couldn't process what just happened and then proceeded to follow up with an attack so powerful it broke me in half and actually crashed my game out. I was like, mm, maybe strength isn't... <laughs> maybe I should... Maybe the strength build isn't working out after all. Sekiro would have torn apart some of these bosses. True. Let's all take solace in the fact that someday someone's gonna manage to edit in the entirety of Sekiro as a character and control system into Elden Ring, and you'll be able to play Elden Ring as Sekiro himself, as John Sekiro. At least you can put the quick step skill on strength weapons to make them a bit more fun to play. Yeah, I mean, maybe they could have made like a fucking quick step skill as just like a ring instead of locking out one of the best defensive options in the game into a fucking art, dude. I get why they did, though. I get it from like a balance thing, but man, oh man. It sucked when you like leveled up like a weapon that you couldn't swap the art out for. And then you'd be like, well, fuck. 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 Give us back old hunter's bone from Bloodborne. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me do like a quick down payment instead of like a constant detraction of MP. Let me do like a down payment that lasts a little bit. Bloodhound Step is better than Old Hunter's Bone. Yeah, I know about Blood. I know about Bloodhound Step. Either way, it don't matter because I'm never playing that game ever again until the Cinders mod, like adjacent thing, comes out for in the year 2025. I've already beaten it, and I'll never go back. I already uninstalled it and hit it. <laughs> and what if the expansion comes out? Probably not. I usually don't play the expansions when they initially come out. Not until I'm sure there won't be any more. I'd probably just wait for like two to come out. Not like I think there should be an expansion for it. I don't think that game needs to be any longer. Frankly, but that I'm probably a minority. I don't like video games! Video games suck! So bad!
Man, you hate Elden Ring. <laughs> Dude, I just... Elden Ring could never, ever in a million years compare to... I don't know. The best game ever made. Actually, that I was about I was about to say a joke, one. But I've actually been playing through Divinity Original Sin two again, dude, with mods. Holy shit, dude! I've been playing, dude. Bro, they're not in the same genre, and it's not fair. It's not fair to compare any game to Divinity Original Sin two. Yo, how Divinity Original Sin two is still so buggy though? What are you talking about? <laughs> What are you talking about? Are you a, have you lost it? <laughs> I've never I've never had like a proper bug in Divinity ever. I wish I could get through Divinity 2, but I keep making the mistake of playing it with friends. I think playing with friends is the best way to play it. As long as everyone's on the same page and you aren't playing with like psycho maniacs that, you know, Make a decision at the last minute of the campaign and completely uh, take away the ability for anyone else in the group to even watch the uh, ending cutscene. Um, but, you know, that doesn't ever happen. Ever. Because that would be fucked if that happened. All right, chat. Okay, chat. Tomato. Everyone, I'm not reading it. I don't want to go back. I don't want to. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. I won't go back to that day. I won't, dude. I won't think. I won't. I can't. I won't. We're gonna go. Look. All right, everyone. Get excited. Get it. Get excited. We're gonna play some goddamn Soul Ash. S slash. Soul. Ash. Soul. Soul. Um. Soul Ash. Yeah, well. It's called Soul Ash. If you don't know what this game is, it's game. It's a game kind of like a top-down ASCII-style Cataclysm game. Like Caves of Cud, something like that. Uh, where you play a very bad man. You play a very bad man uh, who walks around punching down at farmers in order to gain enough soul power to kill stronger people. It's kind of like a Caves of Cud, but you're a bad guy. Okay. So, like, yeah. We could walk to that castle and kill someone there, but they'd probably be very strong. So instead, you see that one pixel guy holding a stick? We're gonna walk up to him and he'll throw the stick at us and yell something like mean, and we will immediately break him in half and suck up his soul. And then use it to become more powerful. So it's a game for Tomato? Yeah, it's kind of like a game specifically made for me. Hang on, all right. Well, oh, that audio, that music stopped quick there, dude. New game. I'll explain it when we get in. But first, we had to pick our character and their profession. We have a lot of options. We have humans, dark dwarves, goblins, dark elves, vampires, trolls, orcs, which are just honestly... Trolls kind of got given a bad rap on this one. It just doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem fair from a physical level. Because what uh, we got Lich, Ras Rasimi, Demon, Lizard Man, Bone Wraith, Gollum, Abomination, Jin, or No. <laughs> Page two really kind of comes in hard and then just kind of stumbles at the very end with Hogger at the, at, at the end. <laughs> you can play as... Drosnus, the destroyer of worlds. An abomination from the depths of hell. A genie with the power to snap its fingers and destroy an entire country. 
or hogger who just broke out of prison today. Look at the look at the difference in text. <laughs> Noel gets like the writer struggles to, to put in two nice things about Noel's dude. The writer's fucking struggling to be like, um, uh, well they have the t uh, they got a funny laugh. They got um, they're tall. The they got claw. They have feet. And then, since I'm the creature of pure magic infused with a motive will, these ancient beings once dwelled plentifully in the deserts and ruled the sands. Okay, so what are we going to play, though? Because this is important. Uh, let's see. Goblin comes with a humanoid leg. I can play a goblin. I can play a gnoll, a goblin. I don't want to play like, look, all right, let's be honest. We all know easy mode is going to be playing like a lich or a demon or bone wraith or vampire. But what if he just played like, <laughs> what if he just played like a goblin with a humanoid leg for a weapon, you know? <laughs> El Goblino. Or Null, which is like taller goblin, but we start with even less as a Null. Oh, we can see in the dark with that one. What does Goblin get for abilities? They also can see in the dark. Look, we can play a Goblin. We can play a Goblin and then we can pick our class. We can be a Fallen Knight. Fallen Knights have long abandoned their virtuous path for profit. Corruption is spread in their hearts, leaving a, ca a craving for bloodshed and destruction. They serve no master other than themselves. Uh, I don't know. Poacher. Poachers hunt prey wherever it's illegal to do so. Okay. So we have a knight and a poacher. Uh, next is a warlock. Warlocks are wizards playing with dark arcane power. Their power comes from enslaved demons. They're known to be narcissistic and power hungry. Okay. Berserker, you know how, what that is. Nomad. Wow, they really come in hot and then kind of slow down. Knight, poacher, warlock. Berserker. A uh, guy, uh, like a, uh, just a nomad. Nomadic Traveler. Necromancer. Necromancer. Yet raise a cultist. Uh, rituals for dark gods or inquisitor. Mm, we can try a warlock. Cultist. I don't know, chat. I don't know about cultists. They look like a melee character. Goblin cultist. Hmm, I'm, I'm, I'm between cultist and warlock. Because if we play warlock, we get firebolt, which is epic. But I don't know if I want to do a ranged character immediately when I could get a, a holy goblin with the power, with the power to bless weapons. Hmm. We do get to start with a leg either way, which is important. What does a cultist use for his thing? Evidently, they do a lot of melee damage, so I'm gonna, I mean, it's like we're dex build, though. I don't want to play a cultist because it looks like we're kind of like a dex character. I guess I could do daggers, spears, bows, and cross. I guess I could do, like, spears and, like, stuff like that. Take some of that. So, intelligence will improve my non-magical damage. Which would be helpful as well. Look, this first character's gonna fucking die, chat. I don't know what else to tell you. First character's gonna die so fucking fast. Dex build? Dex build. He's dex building. Shut up! It's like, D&D, dude! Dex build is the strongest one! Shut up! No! We're stopped. Arise! Arise! Goblin! Arise from the crypt! Arise! Arise! Imprisoned for eons, banished from my own home, I finally made it back. It looks different than I left it. But it's been so long, there's no time to waste. 
I'm sure whoever lives in this realm has seen me cross the veil with these wabbits. This body I've taken, it's so weak. I need to gather souls to regain my old strength. I hope this flesh can hold my dark presence. So chat, as you can see, we are currently in a lovely forest uh, surrounded by trees. Uh, I look around and I see elven corpses. It seems these elves died sacrificing themselves to me, which is nice of them. Uh, my power is currently comparable to a rabbit. To a single rabbit. I actually, my character is unsure if he could beat a rabbit and like with ease. We have a leg and we have rags and we also have a robe. We have a broken sword worth one to three physical damage. We're actually going to take the human leg because it's a better we offhand weapon than my fucking broken sword is. All right. Let's just take a look around. The altar is broken. Elvish runes. Why would the elves bring me back? The dead corpses litter the fucking ground. Where the hell even am I? Big map. Well, before we do anything, I'm gonna add sprint to my bar so I can run away if stuff gets bad. And command allies so I can command people if I ever get followers. Let's just take a look around. Hello? Hang on. I killed a rabbit. Look, chat, that rabbit was worth... Actually, that rabbit did not have a soul. That rabbit lacked a soul. Hang on, I actually want to options, sound, music down, normal sound up. Turns out that rabbit was soulless. Let's just take a, let's just take a sweep around. We have no idea where we are right now. And we've lost all of our, what was that? What was that thing? That thing moved way too quick to be normal. Looks around. Oh, it's a rabbit. We're going to take its body. We will feast upon it later. So let's check the map. There's areas of importance around. We will head due northeast to the nearest village. We can ask for help. Surely no one will recognize me, angry face goblin noises. Or I suppose in my goblin tongue. <laughs> no one would recognize. <laughs> I hear from the distance. Dudley, the human farmer. Come out now! Why don't you just come out, goblin, now while you still have the chance? How many years has it been since I since I died? Since my goblin kind died? What kind of weapons could these farmers have? It's just a farmer. His name's Dudley. He's a male human. He has a light cyan mohawk trimmed and purple eyes. Okay, he's visually kind of scary. I could describe him as swift and passionate. He looks comparable to me. Oh yeah? Will he look as comparable once I cast Bless Weapon upon my holy... Hang on. Leg? I bless the human leg. Come. Approach if you dare. Bam! For seven damage. Dudley stands simply no chance against me. He loses his balance for a moment, and during that time, I lift the human leg up, and I bring its heel down swiftly and fiercely into Dudley's skull. Absorbing his soul for five XP. And a new human leg to be added to my collection. And I also steal his shirt. Gimme now. Gimme now, dude. Whoever this boy was, he must have been near his farm. I can see grass. I gotta find out why that happens sometimes, dude. Sometimes my, like... Lately, when sometimes I'm playing stuff, my game, like, kind of lags. And I may need to restart my game quickly to make sure that it's, like, doesn't happen. So hang on, give me a second.
I'm gonna make the game full screen. It should have saved my character, but I need to, I'm gonna make the game full screen because for some reason that's been happening lately. And I really don't understand why it's happening to my computer. This game should be full, full screen now. Okay, hopefully that fixes the problem. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, because it's like once I tab out and tab back in, it fixes it. So it makes you think there's something running in the background that's causing a problem. Hilaria, the human traveler. She looks troublesome to me. She may be more powerful than Dudley was. No matter, we need the XP. We'll slay her. I'll rest this turn, allow her to approach me. Pop! See, I have a holy weapon. I won't lose to Hilaria. I'm actually sort of losing to, I'm losing to Hilaria. We're actively losing to Hilaria right now. But it's not over yet. They got a lot of lucky hits in at the beginning. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close, chat. Boom, man. Give me that fucking legendary short sword of the saint now. I take all their clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I take all their clothes. I equip them. We don't need the leg anymore. It's going to break. For now, just leave it. Put the shoes on. Take their shoes. And their pants. <laughs> I died. What happened to me? I think I just got shot. I think a farmer just shot me. Cute Electro. I got shot with a gun. I I took a traveler's pants, put them on, took all their clothes, went ee -ee -ee, and scampered towards town. And the taser just blasted out from a fucking from the darkness. And it hit me. Chat, the goblin didn't work out. <laughs> the goblin inquisitor just wasn't a good scene. We're gonna make no sounds. No. Okay. I'm gonna play a null warlock. Okay. I'm going to dump intelligence immediately. We'll play a Null Warlock. The last guy sucked. There's foxes and wolves. The animals of the wild. They sacrifice themselves for me. I'll never forget them. But anyways. That was really fucking mean what I just did right there. To that, to that rabbit. I'm gonna need its corpse though. That rabbit freezes. I blast it for another 13 damage. Actually fucked up. Look, it's just, uh, uh, look, they are, is that one actually coming after me? I don't think so, no. Look, let's avoid any farmers with electro cannons this time and we'll probably be better off, okay? The first part of this game is... Oh, I don't have the sprint. I forgot to enable it. Damn it! Well, this character is going to be sprintless. Pilgrims warned everyone about you, says Roslin Human Traveler. Who are you? Get blasted by my firebolt. That didn't do much damage. That did more damage. Roslin, back off now! It's okay, we can just keep... We're winning. We're winning. We have Firebolt, chat. We'll win. So I mean, it's going to take a little bit. Do I have a better weapon? Can I just hit him with the fucking quarterstaff? Oh, God, no. I, they're too powerful. All right, this character seems weaker than the last guy. Uh, Roslin, the human traveler, is actually more powerful than me. But good news is we had Firebolt ready. We will not lose. It's not pathetic POV. We won. Okay, take all their clothes and armor. We, we woke up naked this time. Those animals didn't clothe me like the last... Like the last guy. Okay. One to five. One to three. We need to equip the spear. We'll also equip this like dagger. A short sword. Alright. Chat it's 
Now look at we're gonna heal. Because we're low we're, our health is a little low. We're going to be okay. We just have to we have to pick we have to get some people. Is that a fucking Seek the Orc Raider? That guy looks troublesome. I'm going to run. I lost. That was just an orc raider. Where am I? I saw someone to the... Winston. He doesn't have any... He looks troublesome to me. He might be a problem. But I have the advantage of range on him. Oh, he's not even coming near me. Just fucking light him up. He's running. This is how we win! We... Oh, he turned around. We are doing so much damage to Winston, dude. Not even a challenge. Looks troublesome, it says. Your soul is mine! <laughs> I make the null sound. I take his deadly doublet and his brutal sword and his pants. I take all of it. The shirt, the shoes, all of it, and I rest. There's some kind of civilization up here. What the hell is that? That's a dead body. Why? Why is there a dead human body here? Is there another villain nearby that's killing people? It's a dead cow as well. Stop! Who's doing- Oh no, it's Mazoga, the orc raider. They might be slow. I, I bopped them. I am bopping them hard right now. I hate God, I bopped dude. I bop hard, man. Get bopped. Your, your souls now. Good. What the hell is that? Grudgeon, the fish man. He's comparable to me. I'm unconcerned by him. He's less health than the other idiots I battled today. The soul casually devoured by me. We will rest here in the middle of the street to get my stamina back. Awaken now. So this is a this is some kind of town or farm. Most of the people are dead. It looks like they got raided by someone. My eyesight's not so good. Is that impaled corpse? What the fuck happened to you? And dirt walls. What the f- Oh, it's just Ulo. Whying at me. Ulo. Ulo, calm down! I don't know how hard Ulo's gonna hit me. I mean, I hit hard, dude. I'm not too worried about singular troublesome folk. Plus, they're worth so much XP. I should equip a shield, though, instead of a... Uh... Instead of a weapon in my in my offhand. You give me no choice. Guys, I didn't even do this. Like this wasn't even I I had no part to play in what happened here. Who is that? Whitney, the human smuggler. Whitney. Who are you? I don't I didn't do this. Whitney. Stop. I mean, we'll win. If no one else shows up, we win f We win one-on-ones with the fireball. We win one-on-ones easy. And the souls we gain. Colossal. I'm going to sleep here and hope no one comes by. Awaken! Awaken! Finn, the fishman. We might be getting flanked as well, but I'm not going to worry about that until I'm done with Finn. Man, I have scorched these fields. Darwin, the other human smuggler. Dude, I, I hit hard. My int is serving me well. Glances over your equipment smiling. <laughs> you want some of this? You think you can, you think you can handle this, Darwin? Your souls are mine. I go back to sleep. I gotta heal. 
get my stamina back. I awaken. I'm gonna rest, and I'm gonna also heal. I need to eat food and water. I need to find a knife to butcher these dead bodies with. Oh yeah, they, the, or, the ogres or orcs or whoever really cleared this place out bad. This place is finished, Chet. It's a damn shame. Without a knife, I can't do anything about these bodies. What I can do is clean myself off. I'm not a freak. Okay, I'm gonna clean up all the dirt off of me and I'm gonna take a drink. Get my water back up. This town's been wiped out by orcs. They got to this place before I could get to this place. Wait, I saw a motion. It's a badger. Is it actually coming at me? Well, I'm just gonna shoot it. It had a soul. Washed after you drank. Drank after you washed off. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Look, dude. My character's a sicko null. Man, every man in Mansfield died, Chet. It's over. We're not gonna be able to get any souls in Mansfield. I'm sorry. We have to move on. We're going to leave. Now. Mansfield is finished. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's Letha, another human smuggler, and their friend, the Badger. Can I shoot Letha from here? I'm just gonna... There's no way that Badger's coming to fight me. There's just no fucking way that Badger's getting involved. Okay, good. I don't know what the deal is with Badgers. That's the thing. Like, I don't know if they're gonna be assholes. What? A shovel? Wait, hang on. It says it's a tool. Can I use this tool? To, like, for instance... Could I equip this? No, I don't think I can just use it to dig through a wall. A wall of easy-to-dig dirt! It says I can! Let me dig through this wall! Now! Do I need to learn how to dig? There might be a situation where I actually have to learn how to dig. I may not be able to dig. Diglet. Maybe I have to maybe I just have to whack it more. I don't know. No. Third button. No. Uh the third button clicking on it is salvaging it. Which is helpful, but not for what I'm trying to do. Maybe I can just shoot it. I do damage to it like that. I can do damage to walls if I shoot them. That'll probably be what I have to do. Sorry, Chad, I can't just dig through everything like an asshole. Look, let's just get back on the road. We need to find a nice prime area to murder. And is that a fucking wolf? I'm, I, they hunt in packs. I'm just going to back up. Where the fuck did this guy come from? If I kill two or three more people, my I will level up. My my souls will finally have reached the the threshold where I can level. Oh, that wolf has gone by. We'll just yes, Danella, a human female, long ash blonde wavy curls, pale gray eyes, short. I would describe her as fat and harsh. The perfect person to slay and devour. To level up my character. Warning shot at the bush. What is she wielding? A fishing rod. Danella! Prepare yourself for death. I'll kill you for this. I'd like to see you try. You'd have to get closer to kill me, Danella. Fuck! She's only worth four souls. I should have known. I'll take a fishing rod. Uh, someone around here has got to. Someone around here has got to give me that last soul. Well, 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 a sneaky and deceitful creature. Uh, 
there it is, man. There it is. Very good. More intelligence and endurance. More intelligence and endurance. So we get three options. We can either learn light, target entity shines like a torch cutting through darkness. I have dark vision. I don't need it. Uh, intimidate. Hey, chaotic. Wow. Thanks for the five. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, inflicts fear on a single target for three turns. Fear is determined on an opposite willpower check. My willpower is <laughs> not very good. Uh, so not really great for me. Or grow tree. Create a tree at the chosen location that lasts 60 turns. Is that seriously all I get at level two? Because I just like didn't... Should I just learn light? That might be like scary. Whatever. I feel stronger, more complete, but there's still a long way ahead to achieve my goal. <laughs> it would seem some mortals have more powerful souls than others. Instead of going after every weakling, I could hunt down the strong ones. <sighs> Hi! Cast my most powerful spell! Grow tree! Really? That's all it does? <laughs> Dude! He made a tree! I'm out of here. What the fuck is that sheep? Shoot it. It's meh. Kill it. We require its souls. We just have to keep, we need food. If it moves and has a name, we kill it. War, even if it goes, there it is. I know you'd have food on you. Give me this. Press B. Okay, so we have we have the option to butcher things now, which is good. So I can butcher this fish, and I can skin and butcher this uh, rabbit. So there's also a full crafting system in the game, uh, where we can learn new crafting things. We have to have to find them by raiding towns and stuff, which is unfortunate because we have yet to find any. I really, really, really. Can I, is there a way that I could like blast a firebolt at this to start a fire? No, but I can butcher this uh, dead fish now. Oh, I'm out of stamina, hang on. I think I can eat things raw in this game. I think raw is kind of how you do it. Grow tree on him. <laughs> You're right. I am gonna eat these fish now. Oh yeah, look at how much a delicious filet of fish. So keep us alive, chat. For now, so keep us alive. I'm gonna break down everything else I have. Except for the fishing rod. I'm breaking all these down for their raw ingredients, aside from the shovel. Cause I still don't know how to use, I don't wanna get rid of the shovel. All right, let's just keep moving. Not, Mimi! <laughs> it's Mimi, the Orc Raider! Two ash blonde ponytails tied with ribbons, brown eyes, very tall. She's bulky and polite. Yo, are you cool? No, she's trying to kill me. All right. You know what, lady? You really pissed me off. I'm gonna cast Grow Tree on you. In invalid target for grow, grow Tree. Target must have health. Mimi, do you not have health? I cast Grow Tree. She walked right through it. <laughs> Mimi, please! Ow! Ow, Mimi! Ah! Stop! Stop! No! Ah! Your soul is mine. 
Gang, I can't believe the spell Grow Tree that just grows a tree isn't very good in combat. Gang, did you all think that would happen? What's happening? Who are you? <laughs> Caldwell, the human peasant, has snuck up on me on the mountain pass. After I just killed an orc raider, they're used, they're wearing, they're naked, nude as the day they were born, and they're using a flail. Uh, they look weaker than me. They're very short. All right, Caldwell. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for the souls. Give me your flail. No, why don't we? Why don't we eat some Caldwell? You know what I mean, Chad? Why don't we? Wait a minute. Was this the item that was giving me? I think the primitive knife might have been what was letting me butcher people. It was. Okay. Well, I'm chopping up Caldwell. I'm gonna eat Caldwell. He 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 seems like. Hello. Thought I heard a sound. Hello? I've collected Caldwell's bones. Thought I heard a sound, but it must have been nothing. Oh, 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 oh. It's just a wabbit. It's just a ah, wabbit. Ah, ah, ah. Stop! Dude, what is your deal? Stop it! I'm out of here. It can't be. It is, Kendall, it is! It is I! No sounds! Run, flee! Flee from the Dark Lord Risen again! Foolish human! Die. Where do I go now? There's a town this way. Maybe this one won't be fucking looted already by orcs. He's in the water, I can't do anything about it. Son of a bitch. Yes, this town is not all dead, hopefully. I walk up to the, uh, the fucking well and I shower off all my blood into the well. Hello? The doors are open. Hey, 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 it's me. Hello? <clears throat> hey, it's me! I'll take Aaron. Perhaps... Our Lady Sinar demands your head. Oh, sorry, that wasn't realistic. What I meant to do was... Our Lady Sinar demands your head now! It's kind of like outside and around the corner. And like, also, I don't know if they're talking to me, frankly. Thank you, very immersive. I know. We'll find out soon if they're talking to me because I'll be seeing like a paladin. Rosa the cult. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a legendary mask, Rosa. Well, it's the short and fat. <laughs> so I'm, I, I think I'm going to hit him with the firebolt. Rosa, she's so ow! Fuck! She shot me with my own me with my own attack. All right, so it's a wizard fight. Ow! Fuck you! Ugh. Fucking stop it! Your stall is mine. Oh, it wasn't a legendary mask. It was a legendary cloak. One. That's right, chat. We got one point of resist death. So stuff in this game breaks down very quickly. So it's important to have replacements for things, by the way, or like be able to craft replacements for things. So it's good to keep that in mind. Well, whoever that lady was, she's dead now. I'm gonna heal myself up. I don't like, I gotta start killing the rabbits on site. Honestly, chat, they're on site from now on. Hello? 
Egbert, who are you? What is who? Where did you come from? Egbert? Egbert. The zombie. I would describe Egbert as dirty. All right, Egbert. He's dead. Is there a necromancer around here that's summoning? There's another one. That's Donella, a fat zombie. Okay, this is actually kind of spooking me. I mean, zombies aren't that scary on their own. But if there's zombies nearby, then there must be a necromancer nearby. Who are you? Where are you? Come out now! I yell into the distance. I killed your precious chick. There's another one. Where the hell are all these zombies? I mean, they're good souls. I'm not opposed to letting this necromancer kind of do their thing for a little bit. You know, like I can just close the door and take a nap in here, get my energy back, wake up. Kill some more zo I think that guy just saw me through the window while I was sleeping and just told on me to like the kingdom. Chad is what I think we just saw. Hello? I saw- You never want to hear someone outside your door investigate your door and then go, It can't be! <laughs> and like run away? That gives me like a weird vibe that it might not be okay here much longer. Let's just check out the rest of this town. Some kind of tavern. A rabbit. Dead now, good. Just quiet. Rocks, I like rocks. Haven't found much in the way of gear in this town. Maybe we'll find something in this old abandoned, what is this, a workbench. If we knew anything about crafting, we could craft some things right now, but the only true things we can craft right now is bandages, which is helpful, and like bow and arrows, which aren't really anything to me. I'll take this empty vial and a salmon. I cannot pick up the salmon. And equip these bitter claws. Well, let's grab that salmon. That will feed us later. I don't know where those zombies came from. But that's this whole town minus this blacksmith. Hang on. Hello? Claws and a recipe for a bone bow. I believe I already know the recipe for bone bow. But we'll learn it again just to be safe. Here's all the things we would need to like do like real crafting. The, f the whole deal. We can smelt here. We can, well, minus, we couldn't wood cut here, but we could do a lot here if we had the tools, which we don't. Where the hell? Run for your life. That's Brayden. He ran about, that was the guy who must have seen me earlier today. He saw me through the door when it can't be him and then ran about a block down the street and has been there for the rest of the night. Just screaming, help me, someone help me, please. It's him. Noel sounds. He's back again. Bryn, why don't you calm down? But I am gonna need your soul. Brayden, just give me your soul, man. Just hand it, hand over the soul now. Very good. Let's just eat. Let's eat. And continue to just quietly level up because right now we only know one spell and it's Firebolt. And if anyone ever finds out we only know one spell, we're gonna be so dead. Who? Huh? Oh, that's a human huntsman actively trying to hunt me down. Okay, I'll just gun her down like I've gunned down everyone else. There's not really much she can do about it. 
she running? No, she's dodging. All right. There's someone else approaching me. Fucking rain. We don't want to be out here during the rain. Our fire bolts will be weaker. Owl man. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, I don't care. My fireball's not gonna be that much weaker. Just shoot him. We just have to... We just gotta find... Someone with souls. You know what I mean? See someone... Find someone with a lot of souls. Gather these berries. 29... 19 blueberries. We're gonna follow the... We're gonna follow this trail. Is that a fucking incubus? Yo, you also evil man? Oh, he's coming towards me. He's run. Is he running at me? He's char. He's sprinting at me. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it at first, but now I know. I'm going to shoot him. He's got fire resistance. This is the bad scene. <laughs> He gave up on me. I'm running. <laughs> Fucking owl man. Your soul, please. Okay. Where even am I? We just gotta get out of here. Cobwebs attempted to immobilize Owl King, but failed. Hello? Hello? I don't want any trouble with the wolves. Is there an Owl King nearby? I gotta take a nap. I'm taking a nap. Who's that? Oh, he saw me and ran. Well, while visibility's up, is that the, did I see the incubus? I can't see him anymore, that's good. I don't know where that Owl King is. And I mean, if I can't, hey, back off, back off. Oh no. This is gonna be this is gonna be a real fight on our hands. I'm up against a wall. If I can kill one of them, I'll be okay. Okay, move one. I wasn't up against a wall though, I was just backed up. God, this is why I want that sprint spell. There's a mod that lets you add like a sprint spell. <laughs> Might just be able to run away anyways. <laughs> nope, they're objectively fast enough to catch up to me. I think it's over. Because I don't have any way to run. That's like one of the big complaints of this game is that if you get great, like got as a ranged character, you're just like done. Like there's no way to outrun most of the enemies in the game. Cause like stuff like Cataclysm has like sprints where you can like run away. Yeah, all I have is bandage, which I don't think will save me. Yeah, no dice. All right, we're gonna play an actual character now that isn't gonna fucking die, and I'm gonna remember to turn back on the fucking sprint mod because mods turn off in this game the second you restart it, which is lame. Okay, sprint mod is back on, which is good. Tree would have saved you. I don't know. We got bad RNG on that chat. I think we, I think we can agree we may have gotten. I'm gonna play big troll. I think, I'm gonna play big troll, necromancer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna play- I'm gonna play Big Troll Necromancer. I have a debuffed intelligence, but who said you can't? Who says you can't? Who- Who here says you can't, you know? Huge troll. Alright, here we go. Imprisoned for eons. Banished from. Dude, you got buried in a hole. What are you talking about? I finally made it back. It looks 
different from hang on i gotta kill this fucking badger <sighs> oh, arise uh, aldred the zombie my son you know who's this guy corpse hang on command allies and sprint over there a corpse uh, arise uh, Hey chat, fun fact, there's no limit to how many people you can resurrect as a necromancer in this game. Arise! Arise! Alright guys, it looks like we got a pretty good team here. Paige, Bradford, Aldred, Hilaria. Just so you guys all know, uh, I, like, I like to know that everyone has fun, like on the job. So, you know, don't take this all too seriously, but like, we are on the clock, so let's get moving. Where even are we? What is that? Owl man. Here's the thing is I'm a fucking ogre or troll or whatever, so I can also hit fucking hard. Kill him. Assist me in killing these zombies. Well, I, wait, no, I'm... The zombies are my guys. Assist me in killing the owl. I gotta remember that I'm like the bad guy. So I, I'm fighting with the bad things. Oh, that's the Owl King. Help! Help! Zombies! Guys! Please! Help! Go away! Ow! 11 damage! Uh, he just hit me with his claw move! Get them, my zombies! Get them! Fucking hit him! The zombies are so slow, I gotta run through them. Oh, Hilaria! I'm being shot! He's <laughs> turning around slowly and just seeing the guy still there! Go away! Man! Ow! I just need one body. Just one dead body. Is, can I finally rest my weary head? Chat, it's okay, chat. The others will avenge the others. We will, chat will avenge them. I just need to take a quick nap. My body, it's all fucked up. I got stabbed. I got shot like eight times, dude, my body. You gotta be fucking kidding me, Lorel actually followed us and got the innkeeper Gidget from town? What's your problem, man? I'll-I'll-I'll- <laughs> It seems I have ran into the, uh, Inquisition. <laughs> ah! 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 Help! How do I win? Help me! I got a good feeling I lost him. A moat? Oh my god! I can't cross the moat, dude! It's over! It's over! It's all over, dude! I can't get away! Leave me alone!
I haven't done anything wrong! I haven't done crimes here! I'm at like the capital! I gotta get away from this part of town. Barrick, I don't know what's up, man. I Get out of my way, Beverly! I slap Beverly in the head so hard it explodes. Get out of my way! <laughs> That was not good luck. All right, that's it. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All right, that's fine then. That's fine then. That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Goblino. But, okay. I'm going to play Goblino Berserker. No. Yeah. I'm gonna play Goblino Inquisitor. No. Fuck, the Necromancer seemed cool. I just. Dude, I got robbed. Got robbed. I deserved better, you know? No, I'm going to try the I'm going to try the the cultist again, but an ogre or a troll. Okay. I'm going to try cultist again, but like a, a a troll this time. I think that I think that'll be I think that'd be more interesting. Yeah, we can make this work. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Okay, we're in a cave this time. This is better. 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 We're in a cave. People aren't going to immediately be on my ass today. We spawned in a hole. I've awoken. I'm back, baby. It's me. I've got a stick and a club. Here I am, everyone. It's me. By farmlands. Gromka! My son! It's been a... Th Wait, you're an orc. Hang on, come here. Me hungry! Shut up. You're not my son. <laughs> You're something me hungry, all right? You're not hungry, me hungry. Equip the rags of the spirit. All right, that, that hurt me quite a bit, but we lived. Jet. Someone is flanking me so fast. Oh, it's a bad. Who are you? Kill him. Look, dude, we... Sinjin's hitting us for a lot of damage, but we're hitting Sinjin for a lot of damage. Thanks for the flail of the devourer, idiot. That's going on my offhand. Edwina the human pilgrim is gonna bot me so... Oh, no. I'm tired of being a bad guy. Can't everyone just leave me alone? Get out of me tomb! Who are you people? Why are you doing this to me? Leave me alone. I don't think the other one knows I'm in here. Quentin, get lost. <laughs> He's running! He's running! He's running! Quentin, go away! Oh, Quentin, you fucker. What hates me in a dream? <laughs> okay, close the door. I can't, they're blocking it. Alright, just go to sleep here. Just go to just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Sleep and heal. Who comes into a tomb, dude? No one's coming over here. <laughs> the ogre god will arise. I just need those fucking flip-flops and some time. Health has gone back up. <laughs> Bro, you look like you drop uncommon loot. I don't even have pants on yet. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> we're like, we're like buried by a granary. Can I eat this? I don't think I can just eat raw wheat. Bulma, the orc. Outlaw cheat. Dude, I don't want to fucking start fights with every fucking idiot in town. All right, I can take Whitney. Whitney's about to eat shit. All right, Whitney, let's tango. Let's tango. Whitney, you guys been punching down at me this whole time. All right, close. Holy and intelligence. We need just physical resistance clothing on now. Oh, that goes on top. Even better. Who's next? Red Eye. Come on, man. Activate my holy weapon and strike. Wow, dude. I'm actually... Dude? Is this going okay? I just need food. Can I eat this raw? I can. Just eat it. We get hungrier faster than normal people. Okay. Well, chat... We aren't dead. It was looking bad. Dead cow. Dead. Eat it. Can I, I can't butcher this. I don't have any butchering tools. Fuck. Take it to cave. Take, take cow corpse to cave. Take to cave for later. Huh? Hello? My cow! Back off! All right? I'm not afraid of Rakadak anymore. I need their souls. I require their souls to level. Once I've leveled once, dude, my character's gonna pop off. We know this. Okay? I'm gonna sleep. Here in the open. Hello? Nothing. We're gonna follow the mountain. The mountain is the mountain is safe. The mountain will provide. The mountain will provide for us. Look, sulfur. That's not what it. Look, the mountain provided an entire lovely home for us. This is mine now. Get lost, lady. Look, the mountain provided a lovely home for us to live in. Everything a man could need, an ogre could need. A helmet. We weren't wearing one of those. And it's getting dark. I'm still hungry. I have no... Oh, so this is what it's like to have no night vision? Oh my god. Uh. Welp. I don't have much food for the night. Matter of fact, I have none. Can I craft a... Stone knife. Yes. We're gonna craft a stone knife quick. Because I need to find flesh to eat. I gotta cook some- I gotta harvest someone's meat. I think I saw someone- I think I saw like a dead cow back here and then threatened Manectinek. Where's Manectinek's body? I'm not afraid to eat orc. Manectinek? Where did I- where'd the, where'd the cow die? There it is. Okay, butcher this. It's going to take us all night, but we have to. We're going to die. We'll live. It's going to be close, but we're going to eat a whole cow after this. Who are you? Who are you? Yo, Rick, I just don't have time right now. I just don't, bud. I just don't. Go, go, go! Quick! 98%? Oh my god. Please. Eat all the meat. <gasps> oh, there it is, dude. There it is. Who would dare face me? I need water. That's problem number two is I don't have any water. And eventually I'm going to get thirsty. It ain't easy being an ogre. People are scared of you. They don't like you very much. I can't see in the dark like normal people can. Nor do I know how to make a torch. 
<laughs> Life for me is a constant string of Who's making those sounds? You got water? No water. I'm just gonna sleep here. What do I care? It's dark. Now I can see. Bada bing. I'm guessing food being gone doesn't instantly make you starve, no. Hello? Oh, it's a bee! It looks troublesome to me. Overgrown bee looks pissed. Dude, I am completely red with blood. Why don't you two fight? Whatever, I'll just kill this guy. I'll kill Ugg. We'll kill Ugg for his souls. We're getting close to leveling. Where'd that other one go? Where'd Squeaker go? Squeaker, come here! My weapon broke. No, they didn't. No, yes, it did. My old weapon broke. We'll salvage it. And my other legendary weapon also broke. It's fine, Chad. It's fine. We can survive off of what we have. No, we can't. Our weapons suck now. That's really bad. Our weapons are really bad now. Balthilda is wielding an electric dagger. If I could get that dagger, we would be looking good. I also desperately... Balthilda! Face me! Oh! Okay. That's right. That's right. We learned smite. That's right. We get smite now. We're gonna get. To, we got smite. We're we're like an evil paladin. All right. Dump on strength. Strength, int, endurance. All right. Those are our stats. I feel stronger. Take the electric dagger. Equip it. Equip the other one, you're offhand. We need water. Keola, where's the nearest stream? Thanks for the pants from the other dagger. I'll be taking that. And I'll be taking the pants. My sons and daughters will arrive soon. My followers. I just got... You guys got water nearby? You guys have any water? I need water. Ooh, a hatchet. Alright, that means I might be able to, like... Keola the fat zombie. I bet I do a lot of damage to zombies. Hey, asshole. I bet I do a lot of damage to zombies. Or comparable to before. I mean, Smite does a lot. Smite's my new best thing. Yeah, it does so much. Yeah, Smite'll... Smite'll do pretty good. I think. For us. I think that that was a good purchase. That, that, that gets us some fucking real damage. Did I just get shot by a fucking lightning bolt by Shaylee? You better hope. I don't make it to you. You... You better hope that you got resistance. I need a nap. I really need water too. Oh my god. Rosalind, stay away. Don't come near me. Water. <laughs> Why can't I find water? Water. <gasps> water. You ask and God provides. Ask and you shall receive. That's a sign. That's a sign, chat. Don't you think? I'm starting to think that might be a sign. God is smiling down upon ogre sounds. 
Who is, is that a fucking zombie? Risa? Go away. <laughs> Go away. Leave me alone. Did I have our fucking 20 a pop on zombies? They don't stand a chance. All right, I heal, I heal, I heal, I heal. It's gonna take a little while. Who? Can you guys see? Seriously? Where are you all coming from? Get out of the water. I have a 34 on you. What chance do you have? Let me sleep. Thank God I cut up it into. Fillmore, my guy, my bro, <laughs> getting real sick of people jumping me in my sleep. Getting real sick of the non stop, just fucking pipeline of randos from like town coming at me. No wonder you have no followers. Fuck you, Fillmore! Get smited! I rest again. Hopefully for the last time. As in, I won't need to rest again because I'll be at full HP. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> People all day today with this shit, dude. Someone comes sprinting at me from across like every fucking valley and field. This time it's Barrack. Maybe I need to leave this area. I mean, it's good souls. I'm getting a, I'm getting many a soul from this. But my weapons will break soon, and then this will be this this will be not good for me. I'm just gonna eat some of this meat. All right, eat some of this meat. Drink some water. Maybe take a little nap. You go coming for that uncommon loot. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it's good souls, which is why I haven't left yet. But I mean, like, I must be right next to, like, the real shit. Because eventually a cultist is going to come by and actually bot me when I have, like... Never mind, that's just Maxwell. That's okay, we can handle... I stopped for a second because I was like, I don't know if we can handle a cultist. It's just Maxwell. Okay. We've got a full-on pile of dead bodies here now. I'm going back to sleep. And if anyone else interrupts me during my slumber... Who goes there? Oh my god. Now there's more than one of them at a time. How many more times do I gotta do this song and dance before they all leave me alone, man? I think I gotta leave this area. You know, I don't think I can be here anymore, chat. They've made it very clear that um, I'm not welcome. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a bandage and I'm going to start healing again. This will heal me even faster than before. <sighs> I'm going to sprint in this direction away from the fucking zombie and then I'll... Who are you? Who are you? Who is that guy? It's the middle of the night. No one should be able to see me. I'm on the wall again. Just go back to my house. Can I sleep here without someone jumping me? Just want my health back. <laughs> Some random surface troglodyte that isn't in a cave is just like, uh -huh, and it stabs me in the fucking throat. Like, I, ju I just wanted my... Oh my god. Am I allowed? I'm allowed! Okay, now, actually sleep. 
Bro. <laughs> Blinks. Slowly. Misty, you gotta be kidding me. Why are cultists even- I am a cult- I'm literally a cultist. Why are we not cool? Go away, Misty. Go away. Thanks for the mask. I will wear it on my character. And I'm going back to sleep. You know another cultist is going to sprint up. Now they got my... Who is... Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Ow! 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 There's still. Who is this? Sprint again. Okay. Okay, I can't play a character that can't see in the dark. I just learned that. Um, I will not play a character that doesn't have dark vision. I just won't. Uh, because, uh,. You just get jumped by god characters in the shadows. So here's the character I'm going to play this time. Okay. I'm going to play an abomination. Actually, that's not... That, that one cannot see in the dark. <laughs> back to goblins. Back to, go back to goblins. <laughs> back to the goblin. I mean, I could play a lich. Yeah, I'll play a dwarf. And I get a pickaxe. Yeah. I will play a, a dwarf... Inquisitor. Okay. I will play a Dwarf Inquisitor. Okay. This guy, for sure. This guy will be the one that survives. First thing I gotta do is get some fast XP. Someone's running from me. They already, they're already scared of me. It's a deer. It's all confused. <laughs> Perfect. Mashar. Cast Immolate on him. Burn him. And then finish him off. Got this knife. Equip the pickaxe. That's a more powerful weapon. Is what I would say if that were true, but it isn't. This guy's weaker than the last guy, which is so sad, but he can see in the dark. These guys are water guys, so obviously they're gonna be resistant to my fucking thing. You know, obviously. We just gotta get we just gotta get a level up, dude. We just gotta get a level up. You know, let's just let's just find a cave. You know what I mean? Question mark might mean cave. I don't want to be around all these fucking water boys, dude. I just want to get, I just want to get somewhere dark and safe, <laughs> cause the outside world fucking sucks. You put it in offhand, not the main hand. It does not matter to my knowledge. Uh, yeah, exact same amount. Although, funnily enough, my character does more damage unarmed with his bare hands. My dwarven fists are more powerful than anything this game could throw at me. Well, at least we got, we got, hey, these guys provide fish, which is cool. We're already mostly dead. Look, I know it's been a rough couple starts. Okay. H Bulma, fuck off. Who? Yellowtail. Oh, yellow dick. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's happening again. 
go away. <laughs> we just have to... We just have to find the... God damn cave, chat. You know that orc came back around to finish me off. Sedgwick, human pilgrim. I'm, I'll be taking those shoes of yours, lad. He... Someone is, uh... Oh, he has smite. Sadrick has smite. I, I started, pan I started like, seizing up. Because I was unaware of how I was taking... Oh, he called his friends. I'm the devourer? Dude, I haven't devoured anything. I haven't even had a meal today, man. Stop yelling at me. Perfect, I can hide in this house. Shut the fuck up. Sadrick, we can be cool, man. Sadrick, we can... We just gotta find a cave! We find a cave, we can steal it! What did I just run by? It's a bat powerful enough to... We just need to find a cave! <laughs> Oh! Bats can fly! Bats can fly, chat! They can follow me into the cave, dude! They can see in the dark, man! Oh! Godwin, fuck you, man! How about you just go fuck yourself? How about that? Oh! Oh! I'm at my fucking limit, you know that, guys? You know that, guys? I'm at my fucking limit, chat. I've been bodied many a times. I'll show them all. Necromancer part two. I'll show them. I'll show them all. The last Necromancer one went poorly because we ran into the Owl King. All right, that's the only reason it went poorly. Intelligence, all the way. Go in. I need dead bodies to summon. We're gonna change it. We're gonna show them all. Come here. Come here. No, last time I followed a deer, they led me to like humans that instantly killed me. Best chance we have is to take it slow and go straight to the nearest question mark. Where a person would live. We just need to kill Peacock and take his body. Peacock, you like being a zombie, man. You like it. Good. Now take this spear. Equip the leg. Now rest. Zombies don't decay in this game. They live forever. Chat. Meaning, if we can get enough zombies, Eventually, no one will be able to face us anymore. It's, we just have to kill enough zombies. Well, get enough zombies. And I can also command them to fight guys for me. So now the zombie will get involved and also hit the guy, which means we get even more zombies. Uh... Give me the fish. All right, that's two zombies. We've got Edith and Malin. All right, come on, you two. Landon. Get him, boys! With our collective might, they don't stand a chance, and then their body will be added to the collective. Die. One more body added to the pile. Grab all this stuff and put some clothes on. This is how we change the game, this is how we win. Jet. 
This is how we win. They can't kill all of us. That's the, who is that? <laughs> I'm just so tired of this. <laughs> Don't kill fucking Edith! Fine. You'll replace her. Fine. Then you will replace her. So this is nice though, is that I can sleep. Because if anyone comes near me, my zombies will attack them. Which protects me from danger while I slumber. It just takes me a long time to heal. It's okay. It's good enough. Kill Lorca. Take her legendary item. Kill her, yes. Very good, my zombies. Yes. Take a frozen primitive. Take everything. Die. Only three zombies right now. We just gotta find some fucking weak town. Okay? Once we find one of those, everything will be different. Maybe there's one down there. Maybe we double back. Just gotta find, we just gotta pick on the, the little guys. All right, word. Good news is we can see at night. Not many people can. Meaning. Who is Cinnamon, the Amazon? Stubby and treacherous she is. Get her, my warriors. Die, Cinnamon, die. Arise, Cinnamon, arise. Now kill that other one too. Rise! As Stuart. Kill all of them! This is our chance! Kill all of them! Rise! Anew as Ella the zombie! Now kill that one! Kill all of them. Every Amazon, you, my health is pretty low, but there's is even lower. Now it looks like we're getting a little bit of a squad going. Yes. I'm going to rest until healed. Do not awaken me under any circumstances. Chad, this is how we win. Cuthbert's healing too. We're all healing. The zombies can heal. Do I have a way to craft a bandage? No. The zombies heal. Everyone will return to their full power. And when the sun rises, we destroy question mark. I'm still sleeping through all this. My zombies killed them while I was sleeping. I don't know who, I don't even know who that was. I, I didn't even clock it. Because my zombies ripped them to shreds by the, like, by the time they got to me. All right, things are gonna be different. We've reached the threshold where we have like, do they eat the body? No. Arise. Pearson. Good. All right, I'm going to get my stamina back. And then we're moving on. That guy was really bold walking in here. Who is that? Guys, get him. After him, my children. Kill that man! Kill that man! Kill Alice! Kill them now! After that! I have traveled far and wide, but I've never met a monster like you. Alright, guys, get him. By gods, the doomsayers were right. Yeah, whatever, Alice. I'll see you later. As simple as that, baby. Already level two. Stack, int, and endurance. Nothing else matters. Spit at an enemy. Acid spit. I'm gonna take acid spit. Things are gonna be different. 
Because now I can look over at a deer and go, hey, you! Spits. Resurrects corpses, zombie. <laughs> Things aren't gonna be how they used to be anymore. Shit. Times are changing, Chet. I own pants now, Chet. I own pants now. That's right. I even own pants now. The devourer has risen again. I just gotta find a snack. Just gotta get a snack. Oh, this place probably has snacks. It's like people might live here. Hello? It is I, uh, the devourer. That goes into like a basement. What the hell is that about? Hang on. Let's get water first. And wash ourselves off after this. Yeah, we look like a mess. Anything to eat here? Berries. Strawberries. This was like an offering to a god. I don't, I do not care. Eat all of it. Even the blackberries. Eat them all. And butcher this fish. Yeah. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Do you all know how to follow me downstairs? Please tell me you do. Gang. Okay. Gang. Okay. In! Yes! Wait, where are you going? That one. Kill this one. Everyone. Kill this one. Spit on them with acid. Do whatever it takes. Okay. <laughs> I'll be taking that. <laughs> That's actually good armor. I'll be taking that. I'll also be taking the skirt. After that one. Kill them. It's like a whole fucking prison. Everyone fall back! Fall back to the bridge! That one. Kill that one. She's screaming in pain from being acid attacked. Oh, I keep I keep accidentally aciding Cuthbert by accident. You can't shoot over people. Kill this one. I don't know, what's her name? Mary? More like... She, she's dead. She's dead. Resurrect them. Kill that one too. Kill them. Kill all of them. Just really rip them up. Rip all these people up. Kill them. Yes. It does not matter how many you kill, fool. There will always be another. You'll never kill faster than we kill you. Yes. 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 Arise. Look at how many there are. We have so many zombies. Tatiana, the ghoul. Do you want to join my posse? Hold oh, still, Tatiana. I'm cutting you out of there. So I can proceed to order all my guys to kill you. So I can bring you back to life. Again. For the for the second time. Arise, Tatiana! As Abelina! <laughs> I've changed your name for you. I believe this one suits you better. And I'll be taking these steel ingots. Hadley, the human jester. You look as you look foolish and unsocial. Regular height. That hat, you'll do. Yes. Yes! Yes! The hat! Yes. Who else still lives? Free them! Free my buddies! 
Melt through the bars! Most of these guys aren't even, like, attacking the zombies anymore because they already know it's over. They're just screaming. Like, eventually they just get surrounded and the zombies just all kind of bop them. Abelina. Don't die to Elvina, please. Dead. Like the others. I wonder if I can ever get, like, a, like, full stock of how many people I've personally... Whoa, 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 be cool, be cool. Guys, get her. Guys, get her. She's freaking out. Kill that one. Kill that one now. She's panicking. Yeah, get her. Really rip up Gunilda. Just kill him. It's really horrific. Yeah, what we've done here, what we've done down here is pretty fucking dark. But I mean, hey. It's, th they made this dungeon. They're the people that are making dungeons. I'm going to sleep. When I wake up, all those Amazon, all those Amazonians better be dead. Ain't that right, steward? It's really fucked up that my zombies regain stamina and health, though. That's actually really, f really fucked. That's very strong. Who is this? Who the? Shedda the Amazon. Nope. Welcome to the team. Welcome. Good night. Don't, uh, don't awaken me until my work is complete. I wonder, does a lich need to eat? Uh, no, 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 you misunderstand. I'm not a lich, I'm a necromancer. I still super duper have to eat and sleep. I'm not a lich. I, I didn't figure that part out. Dude, just like some people here are trying to like live their lives and they're just pushing around the zombies. Kill that person. Rip them to shreds while I slumber. Yes. Arise. Now kill that person while I slumber. Rip them to rip them to shreds. Good. Arise. Yes. Come chat, we have a dungeon to clear. They lived like this, dude. They lived down here. They just they had they had loads of wood. Apple pie. Yo, these people live their whole life down here, man. I'll be eating that. And a recipe for a longbow. Apple pie? All the Amazonians are dead? Unless they're behind that rock. You don't think they'd try to hide behind this rock, right? You don't... You don't think they'd hide behind a rock, do you? Hello? Anyone back there? <gasps> no. It's just rock. Back up to the surface, boys. Back up to the surface. Chat, I would say this is going much better for me than the last character. I'm close to leveling up. I've got many zombies. Uh, many. I'm actually gonna order them all over here so I can actually get a good look at them. Yeah, not bad. That's like that's like a lot of zombies. So I guess I'm gonna follow this path down the street and kill as many people as I can. This this goblin has changed the game. Into the Lamato pla who is who? 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 Yellowtail again? Thought I killed you already. Arise. Welcome to the team. I do, I do I do like that it's an uncapped amount of zombies. I'm really looking forward to 20 minutes from me now. Amount of zombies that we're looking at. Someone just shot me. Zombies! We're killing your man! Jesus! We're being assassinated! Who was that? Fall back, boys. Hundred and fifty HP. Where are my zombies? 
Just need him to get on this guy. There they go. Yeah, there they go. He's gonna have to beat all of them. Oh, I'm shelling him the whole time. Oh, did you wanna reach me, asshole? Yeah, you really should have stayed out of sight range, pussy. Yeah, you really should have stayed out of sight range if you were gonna pull that shit, Maddox. Cause now my boys are gonna eat you alive. They're gonna rip you to shreds, Maddox. Look at how much blood he's covered in. Die. Die, Maddox, the human archer. He did look challenging for a dime. Oh, let's see, he's trying to run now. Let's go. Just enough to get me to level three. More intelligence, more power. More power. Kind of want some willpower. Vampiric touch. Yeah, vampiric touch sounds good. Fragments of my soul scream at me. So much knowledge imprinted in one in each piece. Names, places, feelings. But also corruption, hate, lust. My health and energy bars both say 69. Nice. These things are so confused. So many of them are in pain. I wonder if they're like that on purpose. They are made to want something constantly. And always want more. They work to their deaths to fulfill the wills of their gods. To move the world forward. Just resurrect this guy. Just, uh, don't really, just don't resurrect Harley the zombie, please. Oh, that weird FPS thing happened again. Hang on. It's weird they have to alt tab to fix it. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a nap. I don't think any more of those archers are going to be getting involved in a fight with me. Not if they know what's good for. Not if they know what's good for and what with my swarm of 40 zombies. Yeah, I've kind of got a small army of people helping me out here. Yeah, I'm also kind of not going that way again. I now see the red exclamation mark that was near that, so we're going to go the other way, down the other path. Which hopefully... Hey, who is that guy? Stop that guy! Stop that lady! Alis! She's obese and unsophisticated! Kill her and add her to the collective! Let me get the first hit, I want to try out my vampiric touch move. Your health. Give it to me. Yes. May Hall Cock Un Cody. Is that a cuss? Did they cuss at me? Double kill him! That's okay, that's no one. Thanks for the dress. Where'd that Amazonian go? Get her. Get her, my boys! <laughs> After them, let not one soul survive! The lads! We need more. We're going to the other, we're going the other way. We'll come back here once we have so many fucking characters that we block out the screen. The lads. I gotta like slow down sometimes though, cause it, the lads move slower than I do. Look at how many there are, dude. Dude, we'll, 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 Look, we'll storm the capital once we have so many people that they physically can't stop us. They can't, they won't have enough ammo to shoot all of us. Those fucking archers. I saw them run out. They won't have enough ammo to shoot everyone. That's how we win. How do we upgrade them? We add more of them. 
is I'm assuming how we upgrade them. Is we just get we just get more guys. We're just gonna add more zombies. For now. Just gonna take a nap and get my stamina back. Are you going to Naruto run your zombies? I like to think they already are. I like to think the, Nar the zombies are already Naruto running everywhere. I need food. I haven't eaten anything in a while. I gotta find someone to cook up and eat. This should be a town up this way. Best bet we got. Soda ash deposit. I do not care about soda ash. Where my boys at? Did I just hear like a... An elven ranger. Wielding the noxious knife of the locust. No, no, please don't hurt me, please. Get him, boys. Really, really rip him up. Let me just devour him. He hurt me. I'm gonna actually get some HP back on that. The trick is I do want to kill him fast enough they don't kill my guys. More than a one-for-one -one trade off. If you know what I mean. Break these all down. My weapons are breaking. There we go. I still, these guys just come out of nowhere and I don't really know what their deal is. Wow, that hit for a lot of damage. Those fishmen, they kind of just emerge Oh, Jeff, for the record, sometimes I hesitate for a second to res people because I cannot do it if there's anyone on them. I can't, like, resurrect the zombie underneath someone's feet. Look, we're just going to keep... What is this? Thorn gate. I... I care not. Come on, boys. We don't care about thorn gates. It's just elves. Flow in and kill them all. Obliterate the elves, kill them. Yes. Arise! Rise! Just filthy elves. I'm gonna be taking these scissors of the devourer. That's how I can tell they were bad people. Ooh, a pond. I needed water. Sip. And wash myself off. Uh, named Ignis Fatus by humans. These creatures can be found at night over bogs and marshes and even coexisting with the elves of Angelunia. To an untrained eye, they look like a blue flame dancing around the ground. You really just lightning bolting me? In front of my boys? That's cute. That's cute, Wisp. You think you leave a body when you die? I think the Wisp leaves a body? No. Barely worth killing. I do want to hold aggro as much as I can because that's what keeps the, these guys from killing my actual zombies. Which gives me the chance to, you know, resurrect them and get more zombies. The elves. So how many boys we have right now? Plenty. We have plenty for a large scale takeover of the elven zone. Oh, it's an elven crafting zone. They make it out of thorns here. Uh, anything I can make? These people live in absolute squalor. I will make some bandages though. All right, wow, they really live like this. <laughs> Those are beds. They live like you guys live like this. And I thought I and I thought I was messed up. We'll use their lodgings tonight. And tomorrow, I will butcher their bodies. Actually, wait, no. That's the reason I've been kind of hungry. I spend a lot of time 
uh, resurrecting uh, everyone. So I have less people to uh, use for... I, I have less that I, less that I can use for food. You know what I mean? Guys, you need to, like, wash yourselves off. You look like mess. You look like a big mess. Ooh, pitchfork. I learned how to craft pitchforks. I'll get you meat. Everyone calm down. I'll get you meat. God, they never shut... They live like this, dude. They seriously live out here like this. Oh, this must be, like, the main room. Ooh, berries. <laughs> Finally, the elves were useful for something. Thanks for the berries, idiots. Berries. At least I always know my boys are behind me because they're always making weird sounds. Oh, survivors? Ow! Boys! Boys, the archers! Alabaran! You rat bastard! gonna light you up for that one light up this whole goddamn table i will gadwick and cold we go ahead yeah whatever arise who asked man who asked resurrect the both of them okay let's get out of here i don't like being around the elves Oh, there was another. Let's get him. We need elves with range. We need like a. We need zombies with ranged moves. That's really. That would really help us out. So wait, was that Sylvanus? Sylvanus! Uh. I don't really want. I don't really want. Hang on. Dull and noisy. Regular height. I think I'm just gonna butcher and eat her. I don't really want to take any chances. Yeah, this part of the this part of the uh, games would have been a lot darker if I had been the Lich King. <laughs> I don't like fucking elven meat, dude. I don't like the food they have. I'm just going to literally eat them. I don't want any of their shit food. It all sucks. I'm all, I also took her ears. I'm gonna use those later. Scissors. For what? Eating. Also eating. Believe it or not, also just eating. Alright, well, that's the elves dead. Turn back now, monster. Says first Farsuit the Seder. Farsuit the Seder! Get him, my boys! Get him! I heal for quite a bit. Yes. My horns are not just for show. He's dead. The guy's dead. Well, everyone clear off the body. You know it's that's like the thing that makes it harder to be a necromancer over time is that you can't get people off of the bodies that you're trying to resurrect. Let's go over to this question mark over here. Off the beaten path for a little bit. What time of day is it? Evening? That's why it's so dark. Where are my boys at? All right, they're a little behind, but nothing too bad. Another satyr with a magnetic, actually strong bow. I'm gonna get into melee and just start my thing. My guy's actually not a pushover on his own. And once the zombies get involved, it's really no chance in a million years Brownie's gonna be able to beat me. Not, oh, I'll be taking that. 
Your failure will result in your death. Uh. He's got a legendary item. This is Sate, a female centaur. Blue eyes. Little rotund. A scar going through her right eye. Alright, guys. Uh, get him. Please. Please kill them for me. They're not... Doesn't look like they're gonna... Be okay. It looks like we'll... Looks like we'll win. God, the fact there's like a scroll wheel to check all of my characters is really fucked. Oh my god. The Emperor's Treasury. I'm sorry? Bartholomew, the second emperor, had a legendary treasure room hidden on a different plane of existence. The legend has it that he stored there the most powerful weapons from every corner of the world. His golden armor allowed him to access them when in need. Gives me the spell, the temporary ability, Infinite Blades. Dude, I fucking love anime! Dude, I got the power of anime! I gotta take my bra off! Hang on! Arise! Uh, Going to sleep. I think my character struggles to sleep because of all the gurring. <laughs> but the zombies, the zombies are really loud. You know what I mean? Like they make a lot of noise. Did that say 50 fucking damage? <laughs> yeah, it did. Fucking did. Okay. Back on the road again. We're in the thick wilds right now. Well, we were. Now we're at the centaur camp. If there were any alive. Hey. I wasn't going to eat that centaur. Guys, get that centaur. It's okay, I'll just aggro him. You don't look like a warrior. Oh yeah? My infinite blades say otherwise! Ho! Oh! And there's more where that came from. Do I look like a warrior now? Help, help! <laughs> get him, boys! Get him. I'll be taking your spear. Thanks. Yeah, I'm kind of a badass. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of almost level, uh... Almost kind of the next level. So, yeah. You know how it is. We're kind of getting to the next level soon. Grave Cook Grove. Have we reached like the edge of the realm? We've made it to like a mountain. The quiet mountains. Are my boys all still here though? Yeah, they're here. I mean, there's stuff to the south. I guess that's where I'd want to go. Wow, just passing through my army of boys. Spitter County. I'm less afraid of the spitter with like 40 zombies with me. And the, the holy blade move. I consider a spitter at this point. I welcome them as good XP. Wow, this is actually kind of pretty. I really like how they do the tile set in this game. Fascinating. You guys can't- the zombies can cross water, right? Yeah. Shadowbane. We're in a bad part of town, chat. Oh, it's elves. You know- of course it's fucking elves. Can I be honest? I just don't like them. I just don't like the elves. Can 
Like, I'm circling around their whole town right now, and I'm honestly just considering just... Like, look, that's just, like, some random elven, like, mage warrior wizard. That hits with 35 damage a hit. Oh my god! Kill him! He just fucking blew up Ben! Kill him. Kill him with everything you have! Your soul will be mine. Taking that. Winds of Decay. Oh, cone damage. We need cone damage. Also, Freezing Ray. Uh, no, that's based off of willpower. We'll take the Winds of Decay. How big of a cone are we? Whoa. That's not bad. Well, uh, Arise. I must hurry before more of my greedy children get here. I still can't figure out why they made these. Mortals, they call them. It seems none of them have imprinted this knowledge. I'm not used to not knowing. It's refreshing. No one told my guy what's up with life, and now he's all confused. I'm gonna break. Uh, I'm gonna break this wall. How would winds of decay work like here? Windy and decay. -y. Not bad. I just cut through this wall. Hello. Actually, you know what? After seeing that elven wizard, I don't really think I want to clear out this town anymore. On account of the elven wizard, of course. We may want to kind of head on back towards <sighs> Every day another elf fucking shoots me from 30 miles away and has visions about me. They have a second... Oh, apparently they mass-produced the Emperor's Treasury, just for the record. Because that's a... That is a second Emperor's Treasury on them. They they, they actually... They, they, we found these things in a big box. There's like 12 of them in there. If you want an Emperor's Treasury, we have an Emperor's Treasury for you. Decay Beam! And my Emperor's Treasury move... You're not the only one with access to the Emperor's Treasury. I'm afraid. Br Blythe Swana. And, his, and your friend? Ellis? Didn't we already... I thought I killed you already. <laughs> well, that's a wizard, and I only have 48 HP. I don't want to be... Oh, okay. He did his big move on that idiot. All right. I'm getting involved. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't that idiot. That was my friend. But, I mean, better them than me. Uh, I'll rise. Yeah, I'll take the Sorcerer's Staff for the Prophet. And a second Emperor's Treasury. <laughs> Just, you know... To have it. So when I when the other one breaks, I can just equip that one. No piggy. Now we got a backup Emperor's Treasury for a rainy day when I when I feel like I might need a second Emperor's Treasury. Okay, I need to sleep. Uh, it's been a bad day. Everyone rest and regain your power. We lost some good zombies today. Misty will be missed. D. <laughs> I know you guys don't understand humor, but that was funny. Is that acid rain? Hey, guys. Why is it acid raining? Nearest town's that way. Move, everyone! We're gonna move! Oh, never mind. It's fine now. 
All right, guys, back to sleep. That was scary. God, it's back! Everyone wake up! We gotta move now! Fucking archer. Dude, I just don't... I'm just getting real sick of the elven groves, you know what I mean? Like... I want all my zombies up here. We're gonna hide out back in the Amazonian town. Get our strength back. Is there like an elf right on me? Every time. Where are my boys? Fucking elves, dude. Fucking elves, dude. Where are my boys is what I'm... There they are. Fucking hell. Hate the elves. Just, just really, really hate these guys. All right, Calarial, you're dead. Now rise back up and help me kill your friend, fucking Z Zara. I summon the infinite blades. They've killed so many of my people. I gotta like go punch down at like a random town full of weaklings in order to collect their bodies for my work. So many of the boys have been killed by random fucking elves. There better not be elves moving in here. Oh, yeah, you're, work. you're good. You know, believe it or not, the deer are the perfect summoning zombies. Like, they, they, they are weak, pathetic, and they form a fully, uh, fully constructed human when uh, you uh, resurrect them. Yeah, I just ate elf ears. What of it? What did elves move in? Is this like a fucking? It's like cockroaches. Get them, guys. They don't want to go in there. There's elves in there. I don't blame them. You elves, I me no think so. What if I go downstairs if I'll find like a bunch of elves? Because I was gonna camp downstairs in that basement that I cleared, but now I'm afraid I'm gonna check downstairs and it's gonna be all elves. Nope, this place is still all dead. Good. And this is the perfect place for me to take a quick rest. Uh, use one of the bandages. God, I hate elves. <laughs> I think we can all go on record and say that the elves suck and we want all the elves dead. I don't know, Tomato, that kind of rhetoric isn't really for me. Yeah, but think about it, chat. How many times have you been walking down the street in your fantasy world and an elf fucking magic- Is that it's an Amazonian, sorry. Where did you come from? Anus. Anise? Look, you got a bad name. Honestly, frankly, I'm doing you a favor. Get hit with the blast of infinite blades and perish from this world and become a zombie. For my team. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, back to sleep. Look, I'm just saying, how many times have you been walking down the street as a fantasy warrior and all of a sudden an elf fucking shoots you in the fucking, like, neck eight times in a row and then goes, this one's for the elves. Like... Dwarves just usually say rock and stone and then you fall into their tunnel from like below and break your legs. Much less annoying. 
Look, they even like, look, look, they made a recipe for crafting knives, dude. That wasn't there last time we got here. That's a new thing. The elves made that. Something sus about that, dude. I don't know what else to say. Why are they crafting knives? Who's that? Liliana? The ghoul? Hey. Hey. I got bad news. I don't need your soul. Opens eyes widely while looking toward you. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> they crungo at me. <laughs> they fucking crungo at me from a mile away after I just blasted them with fucking dark magic. Whatever, I don't care. I need their soul. And or I need to eat them. Look, we're running low on humans. We need more bodies. Where do I go that's like not total shit? Honestly, north. We go due north. That could have been a cool ghoul. They were a cool ghoul. They didn't attack me because I'm a necromancer, but that doesn't mean I can't attack them and kill them. They weren't a cool ghoul to me is the problem. I needed more loyalty than that. Oh, I, for a second I thought these were a bunch of piles of dead fucking rabbits and I was gonna be like, Jackpot, baby! It wasn't. What is this place? Some kind of camp. All right. Everyone file in. Meat. Recipe for a primitive spear. Where my boys at? Hearing noises back, back behind the tents. A blood fit, perfect. Nice low level idiot that I can kill in two hits and resurrect. That's what I like to see. We want low level idiots right now. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, it's coming. It's happening. It's gone. Halibut. There was a sneeze for a second, and now it's gone. Another zombie. Yeah, I think we just keep heading north. Is that another fucking elf? God, it really is an infestation. It's like cockroaches. You can't, you, once you get one, you have, it's like, it's like fucking sugar ants. It's like you have one, and you know there's 30 to 50 more in every fucking crack in your, like, kitchen after that. Why are there so many? I don't go away. How many times do I have to rot all of the fu- do I get out of here? Gale. Arise. Just a random one. It wasn't even like a special zone. We're in the we're at the Nelm River. See, what I could go for right now, if you all want to know what I could really go for, some some big orcs. Now, those guys know how to party. These elves, they shoot you from a distance and it's just not fair, but orcs, get a bunch of orcs? Now, that's something, that's something I could go for. It ought to be him, look at his eyes, it's a human. A level of you? Powerless against you. That's what I like to see. Help! Owie! Alright. They called for Oakley to help them, who's also powerless against me. I'm on it. Just don't die on me, yelled Oakley. Die be right before the guy died. Yelled Oakley. Also losing their balance and then dying. Fresh souls to be added to my army. It seems like this is a totally defenseless human village with like sheep and a giant spider. 
Oh, that's actually not that bad. There is also a human over there, though. Who's shooting it. Can, can we please deal with that? Can we please get rid of this person? Yeah, I can't rest stuff when I'm standing on it. Come on, get off these bodies. We need them. Super important. Guys, we're gonna have so many zombies. Hello? It's a shop! It's a butcher shop. Or a sh uh, I guess a, res a restaurant or something. Whatever, it's mine now. All this stuff is mine. Whatever was in these barrels, also mine. These rags, not mine. I don't. All right, guys, fill up, fill up the tavern. This place is ours tonight, chat. This place is ours tonight. The tavern's ours. Everyone, pile in. Woo! Good thing too, cause it's raining. I'm gonna rest until I'm gonna sleep and we go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Hey, what's happening? Where'd most of my zombies go? What happened? Hello? Guys, where are you all going? They went to chase a human. Are you tell me a human came to the bar? They want to see where they live? Hello? No human there. So fucking just, did I just get shot? By electrical lightning. Wait a minute. Why is my name Chez? <laughs> I thought I named myself like angry goblin sounds. Why is my, since when did I name myself Chez? <laughs> Am I always been named Chess? <laughs> Who's Chess? Alright boys, there's a fucking wizard over there really pissing me. That's Magnus. The Magnificent. Before you stands an older man of the human race. He has short gray hair and a long beard. His right cheek is covered with a nasty scar probably made with acid. So if her eyes look at you filled with great wisdom, his unnaturally calm and patient nature makes you feel uneasy. Acid, huh? Well then you should be really familiar with what I'm about to do next to you. Acid blast! Acid blast! Acid blast! Acid blast! Arise, Magnus the Magnificent, arise! Thanks for the ring. I haven't filled that spot yet. Yeah, that's right. I did melt him down. Come on, guys. We're out of here. We gotta level up. Fire a vampire hunter. I'm not a... You gotta understand, man. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> Let me be very clear about this. Infinite Blade Blast! Uh, spicy wind. See, here's the thing. I don't even need my fucking undead to kill this guy. I'll be taking this. 
And I'll be taking all that holy water. Might be able to use that on vampires. Come on, everyone. The snake goddess will guide my hand. Nuh-uh. Said no one ever, Edwina. Shut up, become a zombie. Do we have like a church here? Is that what's happening? No, that's just a random peasant. I mean, it's all good zombie sources. I'm gonna- I will happily kill everyone in this uh, innocent town. If it means I get even a single- Oh. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna benefit anything from this, Roxanne. Roxanne? You know, I've never mentioned this to you, Roxanne, but... Uh, you ugly. You ugly as sin, actually. Much unlike some of my other zombies that I've made. Like Goldavia, who's simply beastly. And Hawkins, skinny. Roxanne, you ugly. You real ugly. I wonder if I could dig this up. It says you can if I had a shovel, which I don't anymore because I threw it out because I thought it was useless. That's sad, chat. That's really sad. Nor can I craft a new one. Maybe we'll find one inside the crypt. No, nah, there's anyone in the crypt. Jarrett! The skeleton! Edwina, skeleton! What? I'm sorry, Edwina. I couldn't help but notice your legendary chest piece you're wearing. <laughs> you know, it's not as special as you think it is, Edwina. It's really not. The, honestly, the diamond dozen out here. I've got like eight of them in, in, in the back. I've equipped every one of my zombies with one. Whatever, I'm just going to cut them up. I don't even need the rest of the game to help me with this. They just hit me for 43 damage with the infinite blade attack. My infinite blade attack. Fuck you. For real, Edwina. For real. Go to hell. Kill him. Ow. I did. I got him. Thanks for another Emperor's Treasury. Let's just go, gang. I'm not, I don't really want to lose anyone to Dudley, the skeleton. They're not really worth enough souls. I get 5 XP for killing one of these idiots? I'm not sure I'm really gaining enough from killing me. If I lose any zombies, I definitely don't want to be here. So far, nothing else has been able to hurt me unless they have like a... Well, 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 Oswald the Forsaken. What if... Fancy seeing you... Casting ability, Acid Spit. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get around the corner then. Can you guys go get that guy? Oswald's down there. Can you just kill him for me? Thank you. Is that a second Edwina? Guys, just go kill Oswald. I'll be here. Thank you. They're not really killing him very well. I mean, I don't have the health to uh, get involved. Oh my god, he's cutting through my guys like butter. We're leaving, gang! Back outside. Into the rain. They're still hitting my guys down there. You can see it from down at the bottom. Everyone get out of the building! Get out of the building!
damn it. Now we gotta kill an- Oh, hang on, there's still more people coming. Everyone out of the building! Now I gotta kill an entire additional town of randos in order to obtain my great power. Because fucking jackass what's his name bopped half my zombies with acid. Only I do that to them. On top of that, it takes me forever to heal on account of me being a goblin. This graveyard sucked. I wanna go home. I miss my mommy and dad. Hang on. I miss my... Arise. I miss my mommy and daddy. Who are you people? I'm getting so sick of the randos showing up for work every day. Doing this bullshit. Dressing up all scary, and then when I check your stats, it says you're unattractive and an idiot. It's tiresome. Burn. It's a, it's, ex, it's, I would describe it as exhausting. Like these are just peasants. They know, they know, they know what's his name. Get this guy. people to arise we're getting them back we're getting the team back together we're getting the team back together everything's gonna be fine just gotta be careful because I think these guys may have smite Which means they can technically do a bit of damage in comparison to some of the other guys. But nothing that really does much damage to me. Yeah, we'll be fine. I miss Roxanne. I don't know if Roxanne's dead. We never confirmed the death of Roxanne. There's speculation. We'll have to resurrect everyone once we're done killing everyone in this cave. The speculation Roxanne died. Burn. But really? Burn. I never saw it. Burn. Dude, stop stepping on the Burn. bodies. I need them. I got a good feeling that on the next level, my character gets ridiculous. You know what I mean? Burn. Like he's already... What the hell is that? Is that a fire beetle? Kill it. The thing souls! They will be mine! Devin was hanging out with the fire beetle. God knows why. Really couldn't say. Just just do not know. Is that the short sword of annihilation? That's one of the strongest short swords in the entire world. You probably want to toss that on. Also, that's a not uh, that helmet's different than my other helmet. Yeah, we want we want the short sword of annihilation. This thing, um, this thing's actually a legendary item. Now the fire beetles. Okay, I was about to say the fire beetles kind of pathetic, and then it did something so crazy that now I have to rest because of it. So guys, just eat whoever that is. Devin, just kill Devin and then take a little break. Yeah, take a little pit stop. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna butcher up these fish. We're just gonna eat a bunch and just kind of take it easy tonight, I think. Uh, stuff that, that, that beetle blew up. They exploded. So I'm gonna take it easy. Man, these zombies gotta chill, man. I never even get a night's rest anymore. They never shut the fuck up. I order you all to stop squirming. I can't slumber my slumber. Please. What's that sound? 
Who's hitting me? Oh, it's a beetle. Oh no, it's a beetle! Ow! Fuck! God, that move sucks. Whatever. Bring it to life. Meat, meat, meat. Not another beetle. Okay, evidently I have to deal with these beetles. My zombies do not do enough damage to deal with the beetles. Are there any more of you? Okay. That's what I thought. You see, this is where the tree spell would be really helpful. You know what I mean? If, if there was a bunch of guys in there, I could grow trees to seal them in. I need water. Can I drink holy water? No. Well, I do need to go to the river to get water, so come on, everyone. Let's also grab all the holy water we see. Should I grab a stake to use against vampires? Nah. When am I ever going to see one of those? Ever. That'll never happen. Ever. Why is it? Why did my character never got the chance to? It's not letting my character drink water anymore. Does it mean I? Oh, now I can. That was weird. I think it's because like the second I approached it, it like stopped. Like I pivoted over to like being dehydrated, and it confused the game. The scary music started playing and it said, sleep until evening and I thought I had become a vampire and been bitten without realizing and was now living the vampire lifestyle. This says all enemies in a cone. I wonder if it means our, our guys as well. No, we can totally blast people with the wind thing. It only does one damage to our guys. All right, I'm gonna remember that. That changes everything. Damn, man, that changes everything. What the hell is that? Why didn't I get a spider body? Whatever. We're going back into that scary cave. Although I'm not really getting much... I'm not getting much XP out of the cave. I wonder if this cave's really worth it. I wonder if there's not perhaps a better cave other than the yelling cavern. Hang on. Pike, goat milk, linen. It was worth it, Jet. For all of that, I'm in. For the milk, yeah. You could say I'm in. That's right, I said I said the word. I know what I said. So I guess it's just fire beetles in here. Well, how much are fire beetles? They're only worth four XP. There is no reason to kill every fire beetle. We need to find a warrior, like a warrior to kill. That will be worth, like worthy of my slaying of them. You know what I mean? That's kind of where we're at right now. I need a worthy opponent. You know, I need someone that isn't going to freeze in place when they see me. I need someone that when they see me, they go, oh, fuck no. And they like punch me in the face and I go, ow. Where's my, where's my, where's my boys at? Wait, there's someone in there. There's a human. Rudd. Human smuggler. Your soul, Rudd. Your soul, please. We lost a lot of we lost a lot of zombies. Let me can I get like a can I get a, a check on how many zombies we have right now? Like a proper check? Everyone in here. Now uh, not 
many. We need more. We'll follow this path wherever it leads. Spiders. This can't mean anything good. Spiders went this way. The spider webs are really not very good at restraining people, huh? Spitter? No, no, no. I mean spider. Spitter? We haven't seen a spitter since that one time. And hopefully we'll never see them again. All we see are spiders, which are objectively inferior to us. I really can't do anything to stop me from killing them. And just really killing them. They aren't, They don't even drop body parts. Where are my boys at? Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, chat, we're gonna follow this path up to whatever the hell it's leading to. Uh, the Pouncing Pony. Roswin the Bounty Hunter, huh? Looks challenging. They have a gun. Decay them. How much health do they have? 175? Hop! Let's rip past them and around and get them stuck in the swarm. Now we can start decaying the pack on top of them. Okay, move in. Lifesteal. Use my, like, blade move. And start acid attacking. Yeah, they're done. They might kill Theode, but that's it. Fucking 96 XP. That's why you gotta kill challenging people. You gotta pick out challenging people. It's time to re retire that Emperor's Treasury. It asked if I wanted to, and I'm like, yeah, nah. I do. I do want to. Uh, the, uh, the, that one's old now, and I have two more. Brutal Hunter's Greaves of the Ravager. Yeah, I mean, I'll take that. You'll make a lovely addition to my army. Let's see, Endurance 3, Endurance 1. I think Endurance 3 is better. Break that down. Break that one down. I don't think I'm wearing gauntlets, no. Nor am I wearing anything there. Dude, I'm getting, like, armor now. Get the fuck out of my inn. None of us went in there, man! But now that I've noticed your shirt, I kinda want it. Get that guy! Everyone, get him! Rip him to shreds! Get Balthilda and kill them! Is that another bounty hunter? How challenging is this one? Wow, all the bounty hunters in there are very good for us, dude. Holy shit. This will level me up. If we don't die to Linden, That'll be a level. Please! Yes! Corruption. Corrupt the mind of an enemy and force it to fight on your side until duration runs out. The chance of success is determined based on contesting willpower. And so I pumped my willpower to a, a 17. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take that. I pity these mortals. My children brought a cruel fate on them. A perfect cycle of birth and death. I pieced together some of their histories. The only thing that seems consistent is progress. Everything else is just chaos. 
Distraction. What some of them perceive as tragedies like wars or mass sickness, others see as opportunity. Opportunity to discover something new. Dude, Chez, who asked? I just don't- I'm just looking around, bud. And I'm trying to figure out who asked. Did that guy just- Did you just fucking poison me? I smell a mixture of fish and algae. <laughs> what did you do to me, Lindsay? Dude, Chase, shut up! Chez, shut the fuck up! I don't care about Chez right now. Come on, Lindsay. I need a nap. I don't know what that countdown's for, but fucking get. Ow! Fucking Christ! Guys, get Lindsay! For real! We gotta get Lindsay out of here. I don't know what's happening, but we gotta get Lindsay out of here. I gotta get us the way away from this place once Lindsay's dead. I don't know what that countdown's for, but it was the second I got hit. Okay, take that. Don't really need the, the crossbow. Back up. Let's wreck that person. We're just gonna go down the street. I do not know what this countdown's for, so I wanna... Heal just in case. No idea if I got like poisoned or not. Everyone, form on me. Who is this? Bamrus, the beacon of light. Bamrus just hit me for fucking 22 damage. Bamrus, I need you to fuck off, my guy. I still don't know what the algae is about right now. He just crunched Edith's fucking dust, dude. This guy's got such an insane amount of resistance to my stuff, I have truly no way to kill him. And he's one-shotting all of my guys. Uh, I guess I lose. I guess I leave. I have literally no way to pierce Bamrus's armor. So I guess I'll just go. Is he still after me? Who just did that? They're off. They're off. <laughs> I smell fish and algae over there, and I don't know. I don't want to know what it is. I don't think. Who's over there? It's just me. <laughs> you know me. It's Chez, the level 5 goblin. A Zodal the River God. A three meter tall monstrosity before you looks like a blue skinned man with a fish head. He's one of the lesser gods and he represents strength and patience of the river that erodes even the, tu the, the toughest of stones. Many fishermen around the world pray to Izadl for a good catch. Born from Kudur and Illuvia, Izadl is a brother to Amir and your great-great-great-grandson. Looks like he's comparable in strength. Looks like he works for me now. Kill that fucking guy for me, Izadl. Ow! Izadl! Azadl, stop! Azadl! Azadl, stop! Stop now! Owie! One last try. It's been a pleasure! 
dude. Look, all I'm gonna say is I did pretty good on that one. Uh, but uh, I kind of got fucked over on the RNG considering fucking like ultra ultra omega paladin showed up and killed all of my guys about two minutes before the god of water showed up and punched me in the face so like i didn't really i didn't really get like the chance to react i feel like i might have been able to handle this guy if like uther hadn't like shown up with like the Ashbringer and like fucking killed every single one of my like Lich King summons like seconds before like like every single god came down to beat the shit out of me. Like I Chez just didn't really get a chance on this one. You know? Chez just Chez just didn't get a chance. <laughs> But, I mean, cool game. I'm not going to do another run because uh, I don't really feel like it right now. But I hope you all had fun watching. I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Ish. EST. You know how, how all this works by now. Surely. Surely. But I hope you had fun because I thought this game was neat. I don't know how much it is on Steam, but I there's obviously quite a bit to it. Uh, under the hood I liked it it's like $15 I think they could uh, <laughs> this is gonna sound like a funny like sort of nitpick to have I think they could probably rename some of the classes uh, because like Lich sounds cool um, you know Inquisitor sounds cool but then there's like Vagrant and like they're not really labeled as like like it's hard to justify playing vagrant when you have the option to play warlock that can blast fireballs. Like I don't want to be a poacher. Like <laughs> But maybe 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 all the classes have a little something. Necromancer seems like the easiest of the options. Though I guess I didn't see any option to level up my zombies, so Maybe that's kind of like the thing is that there, it's not that spell is strong, but it's not like the end game. But yeah, necromancy doesn't scale well. Yeah, I mean that's what I was noticing too. But yeah, uh, fun stuff. Um, next stream tomorrow, I don't know what's gonna be. There's something secret that I've been setting up, so it might happen tomorrow. Maybe, maybe. But uh, it's not anything I've talked about. It's a secret. But it should be fun if it happens. Aside from that, um, I'll be streaming all week this week, pretty much. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled when we're going to be doing plenty of, uh, of streaming. Uh, just got to go through notifications to make sure I didn't miss anything. Lot, awful lot of people are gifting subs and uh, resubscribing again, as always. Thank you very much. That's super fucking kind of you. So thanks. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, this is this is me shrouding the uh, fact that I did not open up my notifications again, and therefore it's all fucked. It's all fucked up. Scarlet Seeker forty four. Thanks for the five gifted subs. I can find that one. I need like people to remind me at the beginning of the stream to open up my notifications because I just like don't think about it. Because, like, while I'm obviously very grateful to everyone for gifting subs and stuff, I usually notice gift subs live and bits. And I don't read subscriptions anymore because it's just too much on my voice. So, like, I just don't think about it. But I, don't, I also don't want to, like, miss anything. So, uh, you know, if I ever miss your notification and you, like, gifted a fucking bunch of subs or something, like, feel free to message me on Discord. I do check that. It's open specifically for reasons like that, so... Yeah. All right, Chad. All right. You said that before, then you yelled at us for messaging me on Discord. Yeah, I, I yell at people for messaging me on Discord if their messages are meme strings, like just bullshit. Like I leave it open so people can be like, "Hey," like, and like, I think they meant about reminding you. Oh. Uh, 
I don't think I yelled at you. Find fucking visual evidence, and I'll apologize on stream, on record for it, but I don't think you'll find any. Show him the clip easy. There is no clip. There is no clip. But yeah. If I can get the thing I want to do tomorrow working, uh, then that'll be what happens. But I dare not say the name of it or else people will be fucking asking about it for the next month. So uh, it remains a secret for now. And if it's not, if I'm not playing that tomorrow, you'll not be able to tell because I'll just be playing something else. And you'll just be like, I don't think that took him any amount of time at all to set up. And I'll be like, no, -uh. no, -uh. no. -uh. I'm hungry. Oh, do I order? Ooh. It's kind of feeling like one of those days where I order the bell. No, no, no. What I meant to say was where I order uh, the really, really good fucking barbecue place near me that makes like fucking smoked brisket poutine. Yeah, yeah, there's a new place in town, baby. There's a new place in town and they make good fucking food. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. And gorgonzola garlic bread. Just fucking lay the cheese on, dude. I gotta tip really well for it though because it's kind of like way out of the way for people. It's like a place that opened in the middle of the fucking woods. Like no one is out there. I have no idea how they're open. Like I've looked at where they are. They are like out there. It's wild. Like there's no business to be made. So they've got to be relying on people like me. It's human meat. Nuh uh I asked them to send me a picture of the, I said, uh, 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 nuh uh. I make them send me pictures of the meat, and I check to make sure it doesn't look like people. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> you don't know anything about anything. Chad, I'm going to go now before you ruin this delicious poutine for me. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Big streams this week, chat. Not lengthwise, but content-wise. Got a lot of cool stuff as long as I get back. I got a haircut tomorrow I gotta get to at like one. So while it shouldn't affect anything involving the stream whatsoever, cause it's at 1 p.m., like, in, like two hours before a stream. If I, something happens, all right. And the stream gets rescheduled. It's because I got into a haircut accident and the barber tried to like murder me. Okay. One, Jesus, wait, I wake up at like fucking 11 every day. I wake up at 11 every single day nowadays. 11 or noonish, somewhere in there. Okay. I'm a, I'm a real man now. I wake up at human terms. Bald people don't need hari cuts. We know you lion. Yeah, I'm waiting for the day where like my fucking the person who cuts my hair is like, hey, did you know you're bald up here? I'm like, huh? And they're like, yeah, that spot you literally can't check without like taking a picture of the top of your head or like with a mirror. Yeah, you've been bald. <laughs> I'll be like, huh? <laughs> you don't need to come in here anymore. <laughs> You can stop showing up. I'm actually gonna give you a discount on this one because there's less hair to cut now. No wonder my haircuts have been getting so cheap lately. <laughs> Just own it, grow a bigger beard. Dude, one, I'm not bald. Two, I can't grow a, a real beard. I can grow a goatee. I can grow a mustache. Not bald yet. Chad, if I ever go bald, okay. Well, I have, I have money, so I won't ever go bald. But if I were to go bald, it would be because of all of you and the stress that you provide me. 
My the only thing that's ever gonna be bald on me is my cheeks. Forever and ever. I helped with making my streamer bald. Which cheeks? My ass is immaculate, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. Sickos. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go get some food. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening, chat. Goodbye. Goodbye.